What's up, Ray Nation? Y'all give me a minute. I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna give y'all time to come on in. Come on, thank y'all for ringing that doorbell. Appreciate y'all. What's up, Tuesday? I hope my little sister here. I got to try to. My little sister, if you is here, I need for you to make a comment. Get your mama to make a comment for you so I know you're here. Probably can't make a comment. What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday, y'all. Y'all know it's going down today, right? Today, I gotta go to a birthday party, but I'm just hoping on to say happy... Oh, hopping on to say happy Sunday. Thank you, Ray Nation, and you enjoy yourself today. Hold on, y'all. Give me just a second. I was trying to prep a little bit. Hey, Davisha. Hey, DD. What's up, Brenda? Getting the rest of these side um Thanksgiving sides together, y'all. That's what we're gonna be cooking today. Y'all. I'm going to be multitasking today, so I hope y'all just, just bear with me. Y'all just bear with me because somebody going to need these recipes. And I wanted to come on and cook Sunday dinner for y'all too. And I wasn't going to, um, I wasn't going to record these because I do have these videos, but I think I'm gonna record them today, y'all. Girl, you better, Latika. You better. What's up, Miss Marsha? Hold up now. Who all in here? What's up, Thonis Wine? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What's up, Tuesday? Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Latika. Hey, Didi. Hey, um, Colin. Hey, Jariah, my sister. I don't know if you see me or not. Hey, boo. Uh, it's your girl T Anna. I can only be me. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, 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 y'all. Happy, happy Sunday. How you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Somebody in the background needs it one more time. So let me go on on and get to you one more time. Hey, y'all, it's your girl, T. Anna. 
I can only be me. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, 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 y'all. Happy, happy Sunday. How you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? All right, y'all. So welcome, welcome, welcome to all my family members. Welcome back to all my faithful loyal sugar bowls. Welcome to the new ones. If you was new here, only thing I ask y'all to do is put a ding on the dome and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the dome and hold up. Wait a minute. I know we ain't finna get started with this right here early. Not this. And we just getting started. All right, y'all. So let me go on and let y'all know if y'all get buffering, if we cut in and out. Y'all stay right here. Don't go nowhere. Only thing I got to do is a click of a button and we're going to be back, y'all. We ain't got time for that day, okay? I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to have a smooth selling video today, y'all. We finna try to get this live up to about 500 today, okay? We finna try to get it on up to about 500. I want me at least, I want me at least 300 doorbell rings. Y'all, let's go on to set our first goal of 100, y'all. We got 27 people in here, seven, 17 people run a doorbell. If you want the ones that did not ring the doorbell, if you don't know what that is, that is the thumbs up the like button. Please hit it one time for the one time for your Hey, if you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time, one more time, if you don't mind. the doorbell please ring the doorbell for your girl it's only a little clickety click so why you already out there let me go on, on and tell you what else to do child okay i need for you to go ahead on and hit that red button yep that red button over there uh-huh it's on this side right here you ain't gonna see it right now because you need to hit that x right there the comments gonna go away but you're gonna be able to come back hit that x right there to the right i mean hit that x right there to the right and then make sure that you hit that subscribe button I'm looking at on Sunday. It's gonna be your fault. So go on and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead on and make sure that you hit that notification bell, honey. Make it do the ding ding, okay? So that each and every time I upload a video or come live, you'll be the first one to know, okay? And if you not if you if you is subscribed to my channel, you got your notification bell set. The only thing I ask, if you feel that you're not getting my notifications, I need for you to unsubscribe from my channel, then reset your notification bell to all, and that should fix the problem. If it don't, then you're going to have to continue to do it until it works, y'all. And that's all. That's really all that you have to do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't, but only thing I'm going to tell you, honey, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Keep trying. Don't give up, okay? Don't give up till it get right now, okay? Thank y'all for ringing the doorbell. Hold on, child. It's so hot in here, honey. I'm about to... Okay, I'm over here about to sweat to death already. It ain't even cutting out nobody stove on. Oh, I told a lie. I did turn the iron over. But, honey, it's hot. Hold on. What y'all what y'all got going on this beautiful beautiful sunday y'all y'all let's go on, on to get into it because y'all know me i be done got talking and stuff who else now i be dang if we finna keep going through this today youtube if you hear me i need y'all to get together today today ain't the day for the buffering today ain't the day for the cutting up okay i need y'all to go on and get it together whatever y'all got going on with y'all connection and stuff Y'all need to get together because it ain't me over here on this end and you ain't finna try to make it feel like it is me. Okay. So I need for y'all to get this together because me and my crew over here, honey, we trying to, uh, they trying to learn how to cook some good food. So I would appreciate a YouTube 
if y'all don't cut me in and out of my video today. We ain't got time for that, honey, because we got a goal to reach. First of all, we trying to get to them, first, them, them 100 doorbell rings. You feel me? What's up, Lakeisha? We trying to get to them 100 doorbell rings. And we trying to have a whole lit live at least. I'm trying to hold at least about 500 today, y'all. I'm trying. I'm finna try to get it, y'all. I'm finna try to get them 500. God dang it. I mean, they really playing with me. What's up? They really playing with me, y'all. So I guess they want me to stop looking at the camera or something like that, honey. Listen, I got M T M P. I I got you trying. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get. Yeah, I say six. I say six. But I did say five. Listen, Beckles can't be choosing, honey. Let me, I got to get the five before I get the six. So let me go and get the five first. Then we're going to get the six. Okay. <laughs> let me get to that five first, girl. It's literally like 1020. Okay. It's 1020 y'all time. All right, well, it's all right, though, because get what? Who in the hurry to eat? Brenda. Now, you should have had your plate ready. You already know what time it is over here. You should have already have had your little snack or this snack or something. What's up, T. Johnson? Yes, honey. I know y'all been. I know y'all ready for this energy today. I know y'all is ready. I know y'all is ready for T. I don't know. Y'all ain't had T on and I don't know how long y'all ain't had this. Honey, if it ain't been that long, the show seems like it's been too damn long, don't it? Okay, I'm with you when you're right. I'm with you. All right, y'all. So, I got my chicken over here on the stove. And like I told y'all, I'm going to be multitasking today. What we eating today, honey? We finna make us some homemade chicken dressing, honey. I'm finna get y'all together for Thanksgiving. Show Liz. Okay, and if y'all ain't seen the other videos that I done posted of them um collard greens in the instant pot, child, ain't nobody got time. Okay, go on, listen, go on, check the recipes out, the collard greens, the crackling cornbread, that barbecue uh pork steak in the oven, stick it. Okay, and I made some uh them them homemade baked beans with the meat in them, child. Y'all better not miss y'all. Listen, don't be slipping on my recipes now. I don't know what I don't know what y'all got going on, but y'all better get over there, get over there. Y'all better make sure y'all save them recipes, okay? Cause when Thanksgiving come, I want y'all to have it all together. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to be lost in the files and stuff. Cause you ain't saved the recipe or something like that. How long did I leave them? I can't I can't say that. I'm gonna tell you why, AJ. Nobody can never tell you honestly and truly, regardless of what anybody got to say. I don't care what kind of cook they is. Can't nobody tell you honestly and truly, for real, for real, how much seasoning to put on something. And they can't really tell you how long to, for real, for real, cook something unless they baking. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, you can't tell nobody how long to cook something. And I ain't even going to really say when it comes to baking because everybody's stoves and ovens, ovens and stuff is different. So I can't tell you cook it this long. That's why I try to tell y'all cook it to fork tender. You know what fork tender is, right? Or you know what it's supposed to taste like or look like. And that's what you're going for. But I never really try to tell nobody exactly how much time because you might be cooking more meat than me. Your oven might not be, cali your, the calibration might be off. I can't tell you how much seasoning because you might don't want as much seasoning as I want. So that's why I love to just give y'all a guide and you just follow what I did and then you go from there. Okay? So as long as you just follow what I do, you're going to be in there, in there like someone, well, don't worry about nothing. See, listen, well, sometimes, sometimes y'all just worry about the wrong thing when it comes to cooking and stuff like that. The least important. Only thing you need to do is, honey, at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what I tell y'all, at the end up, child, this how I do it. It's not looking cute for real right about now, okay? But excuse it, honey. I just pulled it to one side so I don't be so hot, but I'm really feeling like pulling this other side back. But yeah, as long as it what, family, can y'all tell them, as long as it what, what's up, Renee? As long as it tastes good, child. That's all that matter, okay? That's all that matter. As long as it tastes good, it don't matter how long you don't cook. It don't matter if you don't cook your pork steaks for a whole three hours on 200 degrees. You know what I'm saying? 
It don't even matter. As long as it's tender, that's all you going for. That's all you going for. Babe, let me let me get your phone. Call my sister so I can see if she on here. Because I got to make sure my sister on here. She was waiting oh, on me. Some people still in church. What now? Ooh, ain't you friends with Trace on Facebook? Trace? Yeah. You said your sister? Yeah. Trace ain't your sister. My sister. Oh, right. What's up, DD Boo? Baby said, What up? He just saw. Um, what are they supposed to be? It's not side bitch, honey. That's one meal. What was the trace name in here? Let me see. Hold on, family. I gotta see my sister on here, chat. I don't want to an old friend of mine. He work up there today. Zach, well, he, he work up there at the Jacks, right? Mm -hmm. I told him, I said, man, make sure you call me Wednesday because I don't go back to work on Monday. Make sure you call me Wednesday, man. He don't got, he don't be mad. He been mad. She for me. Uh-uh, you ain't got to subscribe to see it. I'm on that now, so you should be able to see me. It won't let me pull you up. I seen, I seen the turkey. I seen the ham. No, ham. no, that ain't what you, no, you looking for, okay, you need to go on your YouTube and just type my name in, and you're going to see where it say live. Click on that. Go and type your name in, okay, ready to make, uh, T I A N A. It's it's Tiana. It's T it's Tiana. I can only be me. Yay! 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 Gotta say all that too. Go to your YouTube. You got a YouTube. You got YouTube app on your phone. Yeah. Okay. Just go to your YouTube. And then. Okay. And then type my name in. Okay. And then you'll see where it say live. You'll see something that say live. As soon as you go, you got to click on my picture. You got to click on my picture. It's going to be a little circle. Click on my picture. I've been going for you, a while you now. Me I see where it say live. You ain't, you. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't on then. That's what I'm saying. I just got. Oh, you just got on. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, let me see. Let, let me see if it's off. You ready to eat chitlins, child? <laughs> I ain't cooking on the... What's up, Ezra? I ain't cooking on the notebook. Y'all <laughs> ring the doorbell. Seven, four people in here. Four, four people. I'm back. Where's grandma? Oh, I really enjoyed her yesterday. Now. Grandma on the wrong child. Grandma finna eat. Grandma ain't studying. I don't think grandma's done y'all today. Oh, mm. oh, Try this for me. Look at that. I guess they thawed them out and froze them. Hold on, woman. Look like you got the bottom of the thing. No, oh, they, they were frozen. They were giving everybody them. They were giving everybody. If y'all wanted the ones that did not ring the doorbell, please ring the doorbell for your girl one time. Don't put it tight. That's good. Ring the doorbell for your girl one time for the one time if you don't mind. The doorbell is a thumbs up the like button, y'all. Is she fine? I don't know if she said or not. She'll call back if she don't. There you go. What you got for me? What you want? Huh? What you want? I ain't want you nothing but to break. Hold on, family. Just feeling like cleaning, girl. Oh, I ain't gonna tell that lie. Okay. 
You want some of the eggs? Nah, go ahead. Have you going to one on one joint yet? Hold on, y'all. Get me a love breakfast in me. Yeah. Give me just a little bit real quick. Hold up. Get my cup away. What cup? That cup. Nope. It's in on that table. That's you told me gravy too? I thought you said you don't even want this. I see. I'll, don't worry about it. What? what the fuck on? Don't worry about it. What you going? Well, hold on. What you going to eat? So I thought this morning you said you finna eat a bacon nah, sandwich. I'm White folks shit. Anyway, here, get your stuff. I don't want that shit. I'm going. All right. Good morning, Jeremiah. Hmm. Mm. Go on. Mm -hmm. I, I, I need you to get on about Leave what you mean? No, you need to get on about him. He need to get out of here, y'all. He about to get on my nerves. No, I already on my fucking nerves. He about to get on my nerves. Yeah. On my mama. I still actually got 16 out of cups. I'm about to sweat. Mm. You ended up cooking a whole Thanksgiving dinner, girl. You love my accent. Country as hell, ain't it? What you cooking chili? Who cooking chili? You? Mm-mm. Throw that in. That what? That ain't no chicken. That's chicken. I mean, chicken. That's chicken. No damn chicken. That is chicken. Told ya. Ain't no chicken. I swear, I swear, OG daughter looked like a dang dude. Hmm. You talking about baby? This motherfucker really look like a dude. Every time I see her, I swear it's a dude. He's going, nah, oh, that's a girl. Man, that mother was like, they ain't dude. What the hell is this? Who put this in the microwave? You? Oh, you throwing the trash. Put it in the microwave? Get in there, man. I'm a great girl. Get in there, man. Every time I see that mother, that mother was like, goddamn man. He swear that's a woman. I don't got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <coughs> move that side, Burns. Um, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Don't forget out your mother. Thank you. Damn, my fucking nerve. Huh? I'll Black love. I'm a black love him, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna black love him, all right. You hear me? They tell you that you country in New York. I know. I bet they do. You holding me up, pimping. I mean, you taking your poke, y'all. You might as well go and do a tutorial on that damn sandwich. How long you taking? 
didn't see that all. It didn't take that. It didn't take that damn long. Now like, you, you extra now. Ain't no what what you what all you put on now? Yes. Yeah, I done. Man, I don't listen to that shit, man. <laughs> All right, y'all. Did you want B hash browns? Huh? Do you want B hash browns? Huh? I'm finna throw them in the trash if you don't answer. Cause I'm finna be in here burning up hot. You want these? Lord, have mercy, y'all. Men. Men, y'all. All right, y'all. We all right. All right. I'm I'm with it now. I'm ready. I'm ready. You know what? I think I forgot something too for my dressing. But it's gonna be a okay. Gonna have to be okay, y'all. Let's go and get uh something started. Okay, so over here I got my chicken boiling for my dressing, y'all. And I like to pre-boil my meat before I actually season it, y'all, because. I try to boil the death off of it and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, this chicken don't live the good life, but it's going to live a better life now. You know what I'm saying? So, we, we got to boil the death off of it first. Okay? Then, when we... So, it's mine has been boiling long enough. So, now what I'm about to do is... I'm about to take that pot of chicken... Dump the, you see all that nasty? You don't want all that nasty. You don't want all this nastiness on your meat. Right here. So we're going to dump this off, wash the chicken off, then we're going to put some more water, and then now we're going to go for our seasonings and everything like that. So, get that dumped off. Y'all, this going to be a long live today. So, I hope y'all comfortable and y'all ready. Because it's going to be on like this pot of chicken. Okay. what I'm doing pre-boiling okay so now we're just gonna take this chicken rinse it off put it back in the pot I already what I had cleaned my chicken washed my chicken and all kind of stuff like that soaked it in vinegar and everything but I still like to do this step. When I'm especially if I'm boiling it and I gotta put it in something, I love to do this step right here first. So now, we're about to go on back on in now. With some more water. Oh, 
chick, I forgot I switched that water over to straight hot. Try to burn the like the burnt the my skin off. Y'all see how hot my water is? Child, I told y'all this water is one one uh boil away. It's like one temperature away, one degree away from being boiling. Cause I could take this water and put it on the stove and try to start boiling. Alright, so now we got that. Okay, so I got me some chicken gizzards right here, y'all. And I had some chicken gizzards in my freezer. And chicken gizzards, I don't always put them in my dressing, but I'm going to put them in there this time. I know what it tastes like. I like them and stuff like that. But I'm just going to do it this time because I had them in my freezer. So I was like, let me just go ahead on and use them up and throw them on in there. So yeah, hold on, y'all. So for the gizzards, y'all, we're going to use the Instant Pot because y'all know they're going to take a while to cook. We're going to use that Instant Pot and we're going to get them done fast. So these are already done soaked in vinegar too, and I washed them, but y'all know you got to clean gizzards off. And the way that you clean them is, if they have like little yellow stuff on them, you pull that off. And I'm going to show you if I find one. Look like this. Like this right here. You see all that little, see all that little nasty, little yellow little stuff on there? You take that off of there. It's like a, um, I can't even describe what it is because it's like, it's, it's, it's hard. Kind of like. So yeah, I'm just going to go through these and get these to washed off y'all. And then we're going to get these here over in our instant pot to get them boiling and going up so, so they can be getting tender. That way everything can be ready at the same time, just about. Just about. see that see that little yellow stuff right now that's what you got to get off and sometimes it's more than that sometimes it'll be a big old hunk of piece just depends on how the people clean them up where you bought them from
And I'm going to show y'all how to get this ham together. See, a lot of y'all, I know y'all probably tired of cooking them hams the way that y'all been cooking them. Y'all been needing a new way to make them. So since you been needing a new way, your sugar boo got you. I got you, boo. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead on and get our gizzards on over here in this pot. And normally I will season them up and stuff like that. You know, all kind of seasonings, all that, all that stuff like that. All the but I'm not going to really do that right now. Only thing I'm going to add to these is just some, um, a little chicken broth. Or chicken based seasoning, however, but chicken broth. And then I'm going to add some salt. Add a little salt. And that's just to keep them from being so bland while they're cooking and tendering up. Because when I get ready to mix those with those over there, that's where they're going to get the rest of their seasoning. I put some pep in them too, y'all. That's where they're going to get the rest of their seasoning from. So to start this pot up, I'm going to add about three cups of water and that should be good enough through the cooking process. I'm put about three cups of water now. Put a little bit more. That's probably about three. I'm gonna put just a little bit more. Enough to cover up the, the um the uh gizzards. Alright, so we're gonna get this here unplugged in. We're gonna take our lid. Okay, we can get it on. Make sure it's to the locking position. I'm going to put it on pressure cook, high pressure for 
what this is this meat and stew so i'm gonna put it on meat and stew the meat and stew is for 35 minutes so that's what i'm that's what i got on and we're gonna let that go just like that and it's gonna do its own little thizzle we ain't got to worry about it all right so now what we got to get together y'all i said i was gonna record it's too much. I'm not going to record the other stuff. I'm, I'm not doing no extra recording. Y'all, y'all just going to have to come back to this video. Or I'm going to post. What I'm going to do is, though, I'm going to post, um, I'm going to post, um, I'm going to go and, um, and post on my community tab my other, my old recipes for my dressing and for my, um, Peas, I got pig feet, all that. So I'm going to post the videos of that for y'all on my community tab. That way y'all can find it easy and you just go right to it. Because, honey, this is just going to be too much, y'all. And then I'm supposed to be having company today and all of that. So this is going to be too much for me to be trying to do all this different kind of recording and stuff like that, y'all. Like, your mind want to do one thing, but sometimes it just ain't possible. What's up, Sandra? Um, if y'all wanted the ones, welcome everybody. But if you wanted the ones that came in here and, and did not ring the doorbell, please ring the doorbell for your girl one time, for the one time if you don't mind. When I say ring the doorbell, that means hit the thumbs up, the like button. Okay? All right. Thank you. Okay, so we about to get into these peas. Let's, let's go and get these peas on real quick. This Instant Pot is going to be in the way. In the way. Okay. All right, y'all. So we're going to take our peas and I don't have them soaking in water and stuff. And so I'm going to try to pick out as many of the stems and stuff as I can that's in there. But these right here is what you call um, white zipper peas. White zipper peas. Y'all can find these in Walmart. And they is real good. They, they, um, I really, what I really like to cook my peas and greens and stuff like that with is, um, turkey tails, smoked turkey tails. I love me some good smoked turkey tails. Other people, they like, you know, hog malls and smoked neck bones and all that stuff like that. But I find, to me, in my opinion, y'all, in my opinion, I find that smoked turkey tails, they hold flavor longer than um, smoked neck bones, smoked ham hocks, uh, and stuff like that. Now, maybe not the pigtails, but I don't really care to use the pigtails like that. I really don't. I just don't know why. I just don't. I just don't, y'all. But I love me some turkey tails, okay? I love turkey tails. So if y'all can get y'all hands on some smoked turkey tails in your stove, I recommend you to try them. Try them with your collard greens and your uh, peas and greens and, 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 and whatever else you need, your, need to put smoked meat in. You know what I'm saying? To flavor it on up. And when you try it, just thank me later, okay? Thank me later. You're going to be like, Tion, I ain't never. I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you, when you, when, you know how sometimes when you cook with smoked meat, it, it begins to lose flavor after it's done, after it don't cook for so, you know, some, for some time. It lose flavor. It don't have that, that flavor anymore because it don't release all the flavor into your beans or greens or whatever it is that you got them in. So when you go for your piece of 
or that smoked meat out the pot, it don't have as much flavor like you want. Well, use them turkey tails, I'm telling you. It's like it don't matter how long you boil turkey tails, they still have flavor, y'all. They still, they still have flavor. What's up, Rico, Michael, and uh, who else came up in here? And uh, uh, whoever else came in here that I didn't see. Hey, y'all. All right, so I'm going to try to get y'all up a little bit, up high, up and over, because we got, I got to get y'all up over this Instant Pot. So that we can, oh, oh Lordy, working with limitless space, limitless space, limitless space. Okay. All right. So, okay. So y'all can see now. All right, family. So I'm gonna get this pot wash right here. Y'all know it be it be rocky for me when I'm trying to get started, but when I get started, I get to going. So hold on, just give me a second. Okay, so when I went to my grocery store, y'all, they didn't have when I went to go and check. When I went to go buy my stuff, they didn't have. Smoke me, y'all. They did not have no smoke meat, y'all. Out there, honey. They had some bottle all oh, that smoke meat or the or the truck. What, what he said was the truck did the truck had delivered the wrong meat. And that's what he said. So I was supposed to go back and get some more, honey. Okay. So I went on out there to the freezer. I ain't one of the ones that like to run to the grocery store all the time. I'm just, I'm just letting you know, child. Okay. So I went on. Um, what I did was I went outside and I found me a pack of bacon, child. Okay. So we're going to be using up some bacon today. Show Liz. We're going to be using up some bacon. And these peas. And they gonna taste just as good, and you still gonna enjoy this recipe. So I got some bell pepper. I don't have the green bell pepper, but I got every color but the green. Okay, but it, it, it's all right though. It's all right because who said that you had to have some green bell pepper? You might choose not to use bell pepper. Okay. So what I'm about to do is we about to cook up this bacon, y'all. First. We're going to cook up this bacon for these peas. And I'm going to use the whole pack. Maybe. Yeah. I'm going to use the whole pack. And I had to grab the smallest knife, didn't I? Just had to. So difficult. Just so difficult. That means more dishes. I swear, I use up, I use up more dishes than a little bit in the kitchen, y'all. Okay. So now we're going to get this bacon right here, rimmed it down, cooked up, get some of that fat up out of it, because that's what we really want is the fat from the bacon and stuff like that. And then you can use, you can leave some of these pieces in there if you want to. If you don't, you can go on on and make you a, a, a bacon sandwich up out of this bacon or something like that and keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? But basically what we want is that flavor up out of this bacon. We're going to cut us up some onion up in here. We're going to cut up some bell pepper in here. And baby, we finna have the whole neighborhood smelling good with this bacon, bell peppers, and onions, child. They ain't even gonna know what's going on, honey. They gonna swear that Thanksgiving was next week, but they gonna be over here. Honey, they nose gonna have them floating right all over here to my house. Cause they gonna smell all this good old good deliciousness going on up in here. And don't even know right about now. It ain't nothing but some bacon and onions, child. Okay. Don't even know. But they about to find out. They about to find out. So we just I'm just separating up this bacon a little bit right here. And then now I'm about to get my onion. Get that cut up. The bell peppers. 
okay? I know y'all probably ain't gonna be able to see right now, but just know the instant, the instant pot is in the way, y'all. And I'm working with limited space, okay? So, but, yeah, just watch me. Thank y'all for being here. If you was new here, <clears throat> welcome to my family, my channel. I am Tiana. I call it be me. This is not a cooking show, y'all. I don't do cooking shows. I do cooking vlogs, okay? So, what you do in your kitchen when you cooking, it's the same thing I do in my kitchen and what y'all gonna get on this live, okay? Nothing no special. Okay, no, no special at all. Cause, honey, if I gotta get in there and, 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 and cook up all this food for y'all, and, and then y'all think y'all finna go, baby, y'all on the wrong show. Y'all is on the wrong show. Y'all help wash dishes, cook, clean, all that up in here, honey. Okay, so just know, and we eat together. Okay, I ain't gonna leave you out on the eating and stuff. Let me see if I can try to get y'all down a little bit just so you can see me cutting up these. Oh, uh, child, you can't even see around this damn pot. Hold up, child. And I don't need to keep moving this. Woo. Okay. Alright, so now we in there. Okay, so now we're about to get these bell peppers and onions and stuff cut up. So, that's what I'm doing. If y'all try some of my recipes, if y'all put and one of my recipes on y'all table, I need for y'all the most definitely, please. Please don't forget about me and come back and tell me what your family thought about it. Please don't. Please. Promise me y'all won't make something I done made and y'all don't come back and tell me. And, 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 and that you don't come back and tell me. Please don't do me like that. Y'all don't do your sugar boo. Y'all don't do me like that. Okay, so we just cutting these up. You can cut them up however you want to cut them up, y'all. Okay. Whether you want them big, small, however, just get them cut up. The cut is not going to change the flavor that this is going to be giving it, okay? It's not, I promise you. So just get it on, go and get it cut up, and don't worry about the things that don't matter, okay? Just like that. making a mess. Alright, so now we're going to take these two bell peppers and we're going to throw them over there in that pot right there. Get them going. With that bacon over there. Alright, so now we're going to get this onion over here cut up. We're just gonna get this here, here, here. Just 
cut them up. It's gonna cook down, y'all. You ain't even gonna you ain't gonna know even know what's in there. Okay. Ain't nobody got all day to be cutting. Don't say, and I don't want you to waste your time either. Okay. So now we're getting that bacon and stuff rendered down. Now we can move on to the next best. Okay, so let's get us some. Um, give me an onion, another onion, my celery, okay, so I'm getting another onion, my celery, bell pepper, and onion. Okay, so now, over there in my pot, we finna get the seasoning of this water and this chicken and stuff like that, you know. Y'all, I'm not pleased with this angle. Y'all already know. I'm, I'm really not. Okay, so... We're going to get us some poultry seasoning. Miss Parsley. Y'all know Miss Parsley go to all food variants. Let's go on to take some of this complete seasoning. Let's get us some of this. Um, uh -oh. We're going to take us a little celery salt. We're going to take chicken based seasoning. Let's see. We're going to take us on a little black pepper. We're going to get us some of this. All right. So let's go and get going. Okay. So I'm going to sprinkle some black pepper off up in that chicken. This, oh shit. Okay. Then, we're going to put us a little of this um, complete seasoning off up in there. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all, take a tablespoon of everything and just start off there. Okay. And then you season as you go. And add what you need as you go. I'm putting some of this parsley, I mean this um, um, poultry. You got to have poultry seasoning, y'all, if you're going to do dressing. You cannot do dressing without poultry seasoning. I don't know who told you, but, honey, you need poultry seasoning, and you're going to need you some sage, okay? But poultry seasoning do have sage in it, so if you don't have no sage, then don't pin it. Just go and just use the poultry seasoning. But you got to have the poultry. You got to. It's a must, y'all. It's a must. You can't do dressing with not no dang on poultry seasoning. Now, I don't try. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so sage. This is sage, y'all, okay? All right. So, I'm going to get my um, onion powder off up in here. Okay, this going to be some good old... Listen, you got to season this up real good because that broth that come off that chicken, you're going to be using that to bind all, all your ingredients and everything together. All right, so go and throw you some celery salt. Listen, y'all ain't never use celery. Try. Okay. Listen, I'm, I'm just trying to tell you what's good for your health, honey. I'm trying to help you out, child. Okay. So, get you some um this some of this uh parsley and put that parsley down in there too, y'all. Okay, because what Miss what Miss Parsley gonna do is, y'all, when I tell y'all that this dang on bacon ain't giving me the fat I'm looking for, honey. I don't know what happened to that bacon. 
But that bacon, that bacon forgot about fat. So guess what? We ain't gonna worry about it because I'm gonna add some of this used cooking grease on over there. And, and now we the chai. Okay. And we gonna get we gonna get the little help that it need, child, cause honey. Okay. I don't, I don't know what it's all, but I'm gonna show it what it is, okay? So we're gonna put us a few little a little grease on on up in there to help it on out, child, cause honey. This bacon, honey, it, it forgot that it, it forgot the grease or something. Honey, it don't ran off. The bacon don't ran off. And uh <laughs> don't forget all about grease, honey. Be like, oh, you ain't show grease if you want with me, honey. You just okay. Anyway. So then we're gonna get us some of this chicken bait, chicken broth seasoning. Pull some of that on up in there. Like so. Alright, so now we got celery complete seasoning. We got poultry seasoning. We got some parsley off up in there. We got black pepper off up in there. We got um, onion powder off up in there. We finna throw us some garlic powder off up in there. Okay. So we're gonna put this garlic powder down in there. Put your some, like I told y'all, when you season, just put you a tablespoon of everything that I just told y'all and mix it together and then go from there. If you need more salt, get you more salt, but just go from there. All right, so. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, get that mix around in there real good right there like that. So that it can, the seasonings and everything can come together. So now what we're about to do is, we're about to get this bell pepper, this celery, this onion, all this right here. We're about to get this here, 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 cut up, and we're going to throw it on over in that pot, and we're going to be letting this cook with that chicken and stuff and it's gonna start getting tender for you yes you can cook this separately on the stove but who got time who got time for all that so if you got time then go ahead on but uh i'm finna uh throw it in that pot All right, so I leave the tops and stuff on my celery, y'all. There was a time, there was a time that I didn't, but before the celery, that was the celery flour. Okay, so ain't nothing. Hey, hey! You gotta be quicker than that. Yeah, you both have one that still help. So we're gonna get this celery cut up, y'all. And you want that cut fine. You don't want no big pieces of celery, y'all. Okay? So get your celery, cut that up fine, like so. And I'm gonna take a few of this and throw it in there too, over in them peas. By the time this is cooked down, you about ain't even gonna know this was in there either, okay? Just for the flavor. So now we just gonna get this here, 
Okay, we're going to throw it on over there in that chicken. Just like that. And let that cook together. Alright, so now you're going to take your onions and you're going to cut them up the same way. Dice them down small. Or thin or however, because like I said, by the time this all cook, y'all, whether you cut it in small pieces, big pieces, whatever, you ain't even going to be able to really tell it for real, for real. So cut them up however you want to cut them up. If it, if it makes you feel better to cut them up small, cut them up small, okay? All right. Damn. Why they got one? Oh, he got All right. So we're going to get this here cut in half. Try this on your hoop. Trying to go bad on the sister. Oh, honey, we're going to save it. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Oh, Cut them bad pieces off. I know y'all don't seen it before. All right, so now we're just going to get this to cut down just like that. The smaller pieces. Like so. Like that, y'all. Nothing to be so particular about. Just get it cut up. All right. So now we're gonna get all this right here. Throw it over in that pot of chicken. Just like that. Okay. Okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these peas, y'all. Trying to get you up here. Hold on, family. Okay. Can y'all see? Nope. Can't see. Okay, so just kind of see what I got going on right here real quick. So now we're going to take the peas, y'all. And we're going to dump the peas right on them down in that pot and then to that we're going to add some water i had two bags of them zipper peas a whole back a whole pack of bacon an onion celery bell pepper now i'm taking water and i'm adding that to the pot. So I'm adding about eight cups of water. Okay, so I got eight cups of water now. 
So now, okay, so now we want to go and throw us just a little seasonings in here, okay, because really, you ain't going to be able to get your, your peas right seasoned for real, for real, until they start tendering up. So as long as you get this broth on point, that's exactly what your beans, beans gonna taste like, okay? All right, so I added some chicken-based seasoning. I'm adding parsley. I'm adding a little um, complete seasoning. Let's see. Let's throw some, um, ooh, some black pepper off up in there. Uh, Oh, let's throw some onion powder up in there. You got to get that broth right, y'all. Okay. Then you're going to throw you a little, just a little garlic powder up in there. Like so. Then we're going to add, I got this ham seasoning, y'all. If you could get your hands on this ham seasoning, get you some. This ham seasoning is good if you don't want to use, if you don't have meat or if you don't want to use meat in your in your stuff or whatever. It's a ham flavor a seasoning. And I'm trying to show it to you. And the place that you can find it at is wherever you can get you. First of all, try to find you some on it's right here. This it right here. This right here. Okay, if you could try to get you some, if y'all got a flea market in y'all area where they sell seasonings and stuff like stuff that, that's where you should get it from. Cause that's where I got mines from. Okay, I got mines from a flea market that we have here. So if you got a flea market, try to find you find it on Amazon. I'm quite sure it's on Amazon. Get it on Amazon if y'all like to do that Amazon order and stuff like that. You know how to do it, however. Okay, so now I got that going right there so far. This is what I got. I got my bacon, my onion, my bell pepper, my celery, my peas, my chicken broth, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, complete seasoning, yeah. parsley, a little, um, um, let me put a little celery salt off up, 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 up in here. Well, ham seasoning, which is optional, but I recommend if you can get it, go and get it so you can use it. Okay, so now that's that for this right here. Now, if we need any more seasonings later on, then I'll come back and add some more. But we finna just go on and let this get it going for what it know. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on that back eye back though. Get my lid, put it on now. So now that's ready to go. All right, so now I need to get these bell peppers cut up. Then we're going to get our bread mixed up so we can go ahead on and go in the oven on 375 degrees, our cornbread for the dressing. So first off, I'm about to cut up some of these right here so they can get all over there in my um, chicken for that dressing. Get them cut up. Right there. All right, so I think that's all my bell peppers on the need for the day. Don't let all your liquid cook out of your chicken, y'all, because like I said, you're going to need that chick down. That is homemade broth, y'all. After you be done 
um got your chicken and everything out of there that is homemade broth make sure you do not get rid of that y'all you gonna need that you gonna need that broth for your dressing to help bring everything together okay some people they like to add eggs to their dressing eggs is optional y'all you do not have to add eggs to your dressing it's it's just it's just um it's it's really up to the person that's cooking and what they what they like you know what I'm saying but eggs don't have to go and dress them okay all right so I'm gonna get these here cut up if y'all wondering where I get these little bell peppers from. I got them from Sam's. I thought I was gonna like them to eat or something like that, but I, I, um, this, uh, 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 I don't know where they get the snacking idea from, but uh, honey, this, this ain't no snack to me, okay? This is a season, okay? I tried it, but I, honey, mm -mm, it won my cup of tea. So, yeah. But anywho, I get them from Sam's, and I find it to be a better deal if you ask me, y'all because um it for bell peppers y'all you getting every color but the green okay so if you need some green bell pepper then just go and get you about one or two of them but if you want all the tri colors and stuff like that i recommend y'all get this bag right here you might say you ain't got time but honey i find it to be cheaper to get the bell peppers like this y'all know i'm all about trying to save a dollar two or three or four or five okay so I find it to be cheaper to get your bell peppers like this because now, honey, they selling bell peppers, honey. You get by three bell peppers for six dollars. Who, who, what, child? In, in in what world? Okay, in what world was that okay? Because I don't find six dollars to be cheap enough for me to be talking about something I'm finna um spend on some bell peppers. Uh, -uh honey, do you know what I can do with six dollars, honey? That's a thing of eggs, some some flour, some bread. Some, uh, you know what I'm saying? A pack of hot dogs, all that together, honey. And and I'm and I still probably ain't spent six dollars yet with what I just told you. So six dollars just for some bell pepper shot. Mm-mm, honey. Oh no, they don't bump their head, honey, two times messing with me. But anyway, so I found this way to be cheaper, y'all. So if y'all, if y'all agree, go ahead and on get you this, and guess what? You get a whole bag on of these right here. And I think they only like four dollars and something for this whole bag can't be that in my eyes that's a good deal y'all know i can find a good deal okay if you didn't know honey y'all better go check out them grocery hauls that i'll be putting up them bulk size meat grocery hauls and stuff that i put up and i be spending a little or nothing on cases of meat meat all kind of meat and i ain't just talking about chicken i'm talking about steak I'm talking about ground beef. I'm talking about everything. Boston butts. I'm telling y'all, honey, I don't play. Okay? I do not play when it comes to getting a deal. So y'all been listening. Alright, so we taking these bell peppers and we throwing them on off over there in that water too. And letting them go ahead on and start tendering on up with the meat and stuff. Okay? Alright. So now, I'm about to get my my uh, broth over here a little taste of the taste to see where is that just because I don't honey I don't want no bland uh chicken broth okay don't you do it if your chicken broth is bland girl you gonna go add you some more seasonings to that because that is not Thanksgiving table worthy okay so you gotta go and put you some more seasoning up in that shit you better how pop said it you better put some more on that shit All right, so now we're going to get this over here a little taste real quick.
Oh, that broth is bussin', bussin'. It is bussin'. Okay, so let's get to the, the, the bread. We need to go and get that on in the oven real quick, like. So we about to mix up us this cornbread. I like to use white meal. I ain't never, me and Sophie T, we had a discussion, y'all. She was telling me how she liked to use um yellow bread. I never used yellow bread before. I always made white bread. So, that's what I'm going with. White bread, y'all. Then I happened to talk to my, my sister, and she, my older sister, and she told me the same thing. She said that she never used white bread. So since y'all ain't never used no white bread, honey, it's a must that your sugar bowl come on and show you how she do her thug thizzle for real, for real. Okay. All right. So what you're going to need you is some cornmeal mix. It does not matter the brand, y'all. Okay. Just get you some cornmeal. Okay. Let's see. What's today's date? Just get you some cornmeal. I got this uh extra buttermilk, y'all. Normally I just use water or something like that, but just gonna get gone, 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 gone on with that right up. The buttermilk or uh, some regular milk or water, y'all. Honestly, it's not gonna make a difference. It's really like it's it's really not. It's really not, y'all. Just listen. You can't listen. Before they was able to be able to get milk and stuff like that, what did they use? They had to use water, and they food still turned out good, y'all, right? Okay, so I always made my cornbread with water. I wasn't the one, oh, I got to have milk, or I got to have buttermilk, or none of that. You know, and then just because it's buttermilk, I'm, I didn't buy it because it's buttermilk, y'all, because I could have used some regular old plain old cornbread, but I happened to just have this, okay? So, I'm, I'm I, I, this is what I'm using, all right? Okay, so do you? I think y'all just might need for me to kind of measure for y'all, and I'm going to try. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to give it a go. We're going to see if I can, because I, I, I'm an eyeball cooker, y'all, okay? So I, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, y'all. I'm going to try. Okay, so let's see. That's one cup. Two cups. Three cups of corn mint. Wait, I got a lot of chicken. Oh. Alright, we're just going to go with three cups of cornmeal. Alright, then. Self-rising flour. Make sure your cornmeal is self-rising. I don't care what kind you got. Just make sure it's self-rising. Okay, so then we got some self-rising flour. So now I'm about to go in with one cup, two cups of the flour. Listen, y'all, you got to use measuring cups like this for the dry. You cannot, 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 cannot. Use the measuring cup that is used for wet to measure dry. If you do, we ain't measuring the same. I don't know what you over there trying to cook, okay? You over there trying to make you a, a porridge or something. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're going to be trying to make because it's going to be off a little bit. I don't know why, but I like to add black pepper to my little cornbread, y'all. I do. I was just I just don't know why. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I just do. Okay? Then I like to add just a little salt, a little pinch of salt. That's it. Listen, half a teaspoon if you want, really want to know. Kind of like. About a half a teaspoon in this much. All right, so now we're gonna add sugar. I like to add sugar to my bread. It don't matter what kind of bread I make. Y'all, I love to add sugar to my bread, and I love that little hint of sweetness that it brings to the dressing. You know what I'm saying? The dressing don't be sweet at all, at all, y'all. But it just got a little, it just be having like that little hint to it. You know what I'm saying? That sometimes sugar is just what you need to help bring some stuff together. So we're going to put 
a cup of sugar. That's it. A cup of sugar. I know a cup sounds like a lot. But a cup ain't a lot. Two eggs. I need more than a cup. Babe, this is dressing, not cornbread. Oh. Listen, y'all, don't matter the size of the egg. Cause ain't nobody know no sizes of no egg until they until somebody put a size on them. Okay? So get you two eggs. And drop and, and drop them right on down in there. All right. So now we gonna add some um oh hold up how wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Okay. Woo. <sighs> All right, y'all. So now I got my little pan right here. That's gonna be for my bread. Okay. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna grease your pan down, spray it down high level. You feel the need to grease your pan. Just depends on your laziness level. Okay. Thank y'all for ringing the Zell bell. If y'all is new here, welcome. I am your girl Tiana. I can only be me. Only thing I ask you to do is ring the doorbell, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you set your notification bell to all so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. Okay, so spray your pan down with your oil. Get all the corners and crevices uh, coated and stuff with your oil so your bread don't stick to the pan, okay? Alright, so now we're just going to take us some oil. Y'all, normally I think I would add about a cup of oil to this. Okay? So we're going to put some oil. Let me tell y'all something. What gives you that nice, soft, flaky bread is the grease. Okay? And it's the amount of grease that you put in there that makes it like it. So like I said, put at least about a cup of oil in there. Okay? All right. So now, let's see, what else we got to put in there? Okay, so now we're going to get our milk. Okay, so I'm going to try to measure this for y'all. I'm going to try. We're going to start off with it just a little bit at a time. Okay, so I can try to get this measure for y'all right. All right, so we're going to add. This is buttermilk. This is buttermilk, okay? So we're going to add what it is. That's a cup. We're going to start off with a cup. Start off with a cup. I know I'm going I know for a fact I'm going to need more, but I want y'all to see this consistency of the bread, okay? So we're going to get all this here mixed in together. You're not going for pancake though. You're not going for that. You're not going for a cake, though. You see how that's still thick and crumbling and all that together? Okay, so that was a cup. So now I'm going to add. That's, that was two cups I got total, but I'm going to put some water in here. Honey, show Liz. Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some water in there in just a minute if I need some. Because that's what we're going to be using next is water. Okay. So now after thinning this out, we back. You know, adding water to it, we probably back to the point where we just using regular old milk now okay all right so we're gonna add us another cup so so far that was two cups of buttermilk okay i got one cup of water one cup of water right there Alright, so now we're going to go in with 
Pop. That's another cup. And I put half of that cup. I put only half. So that was what? Two cups of buttermilk and one and a half cups of water so far. And this looks like it's going to be perfect. Okay, so this is perfect, y'all. This is perfect. So like I said, two cups of buttermilk, one and a half cups of water. That's what you need. What was that? Three, cup, three cups of cornmeal, two cups of flour, a cup of sugar, two eggs, a cup of oil. And that's it. So now... We're just going to take this hill, get it off in the pan. And this is the consistency that you're looking for, y'all. Y'all see that? It ain't too runny, but it ain't too thick either. You see it? Y'all see that? Nice. That's going to be some nice bread. All right, so we're going to get that dumped on in this pan. And we're going to get that on in the oven to bake. The size of the pan don't matter. Just get you a size that you want to go for. It, for it, just as long as it's not too big. You know what I'm saying? For the amount that I just made. Okay? And this is your cornbread, y'all. All day long. And this will be some... When I tell y'all this going to be some bomb cornbread, baby. And you can have this cornbread just like it is. Without dressing. Okay? And there y'all go. So you're going to bake it in the oven. I don't know for how long, y'all. Just bake it in the oven until your bread is done. And the way that you know your... And please don't put it on the bottom rack. Put it on the middle rack, not the top rack. On the middle rack, y'all. Put it in the middle. Okay? And we're just going to let this heal. Do what it do in the oven till it's done. Just make sure it's done. Just check it with a fork or stick your toothpick in the center of the oven. Come out clean. It's ready. All right. So that's the bread. All right. So now we got that on in the oven. Now that we have that in the oven, y'all, I got the. Um, Straight some stuff up real quick, y'all. Okay. Get some, get some. Let's straighten it out. Baby, let's straighten it out. Honey, let's straighten it out. Y'all like that song? Hold on. Okay. Woo. What's up, Rosie and Graham? Okay. So, y'all. The chicken over here is done. I swear, 
That's why I told y'all, sometimes it's impossible to cook and wash dishes at the same time. It really is. It's impossible, y'all. But, listen, come on, let's get back over here real quick. I'm guessing that this here is ready for me to open. Let's check it. Okay. Y'all ready? Woo! I don't know why I was scared that time, y'all, but I was. Okay, so let's check these gills too. And see what it is. Oh, baby. I'm gonna check one of these gills, baby. Okay. We're going to let them go one more round. Mm-hmm. They tender. Make sure that's back around to the that side right there. Put it on pressure cook. Um, meat and stew one more time for another. Let's see. I'm put on for another 15 minutes. Don't know what that is. Just see some ink on that. 15. Another 15. And then it should be as tender as I want. Because I don't want them like. I don't want them like so kind of like chewing in, in a way the way you could tell that some gizzles in it. I don't want them like that. Hey Ruby, how you doing, boo? Hey Lynn Lane, I'm doing good. Hey uh sh hey uh Academy. Welcome to the family. Welcome everybody that's new here to the family. Okay, so oh yeah, we was finna get over here and check this chicken. Not really check it, but go and get it out. That's what I'm finna do. So, let me get my little scooper. Bless me, Bless me Jesus. Thank you. All right. So now I'm about to, I'm getting this chicken up out of here, y'all. Oh, and see, we, them seasonings and stuff. Come on here, come here, come here. Hold on, babe. Alright, so now we got this chicken here. We're gonna let the sick the chicken sit to the side 
and let it cool off before we start trying to pick it, okay? All right. So now, let's get some of these dishes out there. It's hot. It's, no, it's hot in here, honey. Lady lately. No, nah, her phone probably got water damage because it don't rain loud. It rain and she just can't hear it. Uh-uh, because it, it was messed up before I even knew any. I'm just saying I think it's water damage because grandma keep her phone up there with her water damage. Grandma called you about this phone. Who? She told me now. I did not call. I asked her. Grandma came up about it. Kiko, I'm I'm on the video. Grandma already know. Grandma already know this. Oh, yeah. She already know that. All 
Okay, y'all, I'm back. Ten of y'all that's over here. How y'all doing, sugars? Welcome to my channel. Today, what I am cooking is Thanksgiving size. I'm going. I'm getting y'all ready. Okay. So what we making is ham dressing, peas, and that's it. Ham dressing and peas. And that is it, y'all. We making that. Getting y'all together, the what? And I have not started on the ham. You ain't missed nothing. You ain't missed the dressing yet. Only thing you missed is how to get the food cooked and stuff like that. But other than that, y'all ain't missed nothing. Okay. So, um, if if you want the peas, yeah, you don't miss the, you don't miss the peas a little bit, but right not for real, for real. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. This is not a cooking, club, cooking show. This is a cooking vlog, y'all. A cooking vlog. I don't do cooking shows. I do cooking vlogs. Because I have to do this right here, which y'all seeing me doing. And I'm not going to get in my kitchen and cook and leave all them dishes and stuff piled up. And then, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and then y'all, 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 y'all finna go. Uh-uh, baby. Uh-uh, honey. I ain't how it work. Y'all gotta help out with doing little things around here, okay? So I appreciate you for being patient and just enjoying me and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all, this is this is a part of cooking and I got to do it. Gonna get with this ham now, y'all. If I can hurry, I'll be glad when this Instant Pot is done with these meat so that I can do what I need to do. Y'all can see me and stuff over at the stove. Okay. Y'all see this liquor? Y'all see that? That's gonna be some good liquor for that dressing. Y'all see that liquor? Child.
Okay, y'all, hold up. Give me another minute. Okay. And y'all, the stuff that I'm making, you can most definitely take it and um, freeze it. For um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever. It, it's good and you can freeze it. The dressing, you could put it together if you don't want to. You, I mean, you could put the dressing, you could put it together, mix everything together, and just freeze it like it is. You don't have to go ahead on the bake it because whenever you get ready to cook it, you could just bake it. Then, you know what I'm saying? Take it out, let it thaw, thaw out, then press it in your pan if you don't, if you didn't store it in the pan and you store it in the Ziploc bag. Hey, Miss Angela. Take it and you press it in your pan. Put it down in your pan. And um, go and throw it in your oven and let it bake. Just a little tip for y'all. So that's why I said everything I'm cooking today, yes, we're going to eat this today. But all this is going in the freezer because I'm re what I'm really doing is getting my food ready for Thanksgiving. That's what I'm doing, y'all. Just in case y'all was wondering, it's Thanksgiving next week, but you're you going to be eating the same thing again, yeah. Because I'm getting it ready now, and I'm, what, what we don't eat is going in the freezer. And on Thanksgiving, everything is coming out. Everything. So... I still have a few things that's not made, like my sweet potato pies, and which I'm only gonna make one pie. So my sweet potato pie, I have not done my candy yams. I have not done my macaroni and cheese. Um, my apple pie, I bought that 
Uh, oh, and my turkey. I have not done my turkey, and I'm not doing a whole turkey. I'm doing turkey wings, cause this, the, and that'll be good for some of y'all that need that, because I'm, I'm gonna try y'all, if I can. Don't mark my word, cause I got a doctor's appointment coming up on, um, on Monday. But don't mark my word. But I'm gonna try if I can, y'all, at least by Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm gonna try to have the macaroni and cheese. The, uh, the, 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 the sweet potato pies, my candy yams, and my um, turkey wings cooked up for y'all. And that's going to be it for Thanksgiving, okay? All right, y'all. So now let's move on into this, um, this ham. All right. So for your ham, what you're going to need is a ham of your choice. You don't, hold on, I'm going to talk to you in a minute, hold on. regular ham but it ain't okay but it ain't because instead of doing that ham in the oven and y'all know for a fact ham is already done and you be sitting up there be cooking ham 30 hours and all kind of stuff like that you know what i'm saying listen i don't just cook this kind of food just thanksgiving and stuff like that oh i was about to sweep my floor i was y'all all right so, I don't just cook this type of food just Thanksgiving, just Christmas, just holidays. I cook this food year round, y'all. Because if I got a taste for it, I'm cooking that. What I'm waiting for, okay? Waiting till Christmas or waiting till, till a holiday and I might not live to see it. Okay. So, whenever you have a taste for it, honey, you better um, go ahead on and make it. Okay, but honey, the type of ham that I have is a spiral ham. You don't have to have a spiral ham. But I got a spiral ham because this ham was free. Okay. Honey, my mama got it from her, her boyfriend job. And she blessed me with it because she knew she wasn't going to cook it. So I said, honey, you better send it on down here. Okay. And let your daughter do what I do with that ham. Okay. And that's what I did. So this is my ham. Ooh. Y'all look at this beautiful ham. Okay, beautiful ham child. Okay, well, let's get with it. All right, so it comes with a, um, what this is, a signature ham glaze and stuff like that. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to make our own. Okay, we're going to make our own, y'all. All right, so let's get this ham. Y'all know we got to wash the, the 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 nasty hands and the nuts and the and all kind of stuff off the meat and stuff okay wash wash your meat y'all so we about to get this meat washed rinsed off okay like so and this ham is already spiraled Okay, so get your meat washed off, y'all. Rinse it off real good, much as you can. Okay, all right, because your sugar will about to show you how to get down with this ham on top of the stove. I sure am. What, girl? Yes, girl. Yes, on top of the stove, child. Okay, get it rinsed off good. 
If you don't like to wash yours because you feel like you're washing the salt and all that stuff off of it, then that's on you. You ain't got to. But I am going to wash mine. Because, honey, somebody had to pack this thing up. And they hand my one clean. So, I'm going to wash all that nastiness of fossil as much as I can get off. Okay? All right. That is a nice ham. Hold on, family. All right, so the ingredients you're going to need is your ham. Okay, you're going to need your ham. You're going to need you some pineapple juice. Hold on, family. A large skillet, ham, pineapple juice, large skillet. You're going to need you, um, let me get these in the refrigerator real quick. Okay, you're going to need you some cinnamon. A can of pineapples. You can use cherries if you want to. That is optional. I'm not using cherries, but you can use it. Okay. Only thing the cherries is for y'all is for the um the cherries is for that color and for that look and for that presentation. That's what the cherries is for. Okay. So um then we're gonna you're gonna need you some um a little clothes. You need some of this. All right. You're going to need you uh, some brown sugar of your choice. Whether it's dark brown or light brown. Ain't nobody trying to tell you what to do with your stuff because it's yours. Okay? So, whatever kind of sugar that you want, get you some brown sugar, whether it's dark or light. Then you're going to need you some cornstarch. Okay? You're going to need you some cornstarch. All right, so that's the ingredients that you're going to need for, yes, ma'am. You got you to fix, I want you to write a number back something. Come on, I'll, I'll get that later. Who is that? Okay. Tell Jerry, I, we got to call him later because I'm busy right now. Okay, so you're going to need you a, a big pan. All right, so let's, I want to get this pot on out of the way, so let's go ahead on. The bread ain't ready. Let's go ahead on and get that there open right there. All right, let's check these gizzards. And then we can get this instant pot out of the way and then y'all can see real good what I'm going to be doing. So, these here is looking just like I want them now, I think. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. Those done. Okay. Got that. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna get these up out of here. Okay, just like that. All this right is gonna cool down together. Okay, so now we got some broth up in there from this chicken, but it ain't got as much flavor as this right here. But guess what? We still gonna take, I'm gonna take this lining out of here first so I can get this big old pot out of the way. Hold up. Lining up out of the door. Then now I can get this out of the way. Move this. You got to move. You got to move. All right, family. So now we got some room. <laughs> yes. Okay. So got a little broth up in here. I need me something to sit that on. Y'all oh, oh. ready, sugar boos? All right, there go the broth for the dressing. Right there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this here and we're gonna add that to that. So now we got more broth. Okay, and then we're gonna taste it for the we're gonna mix this together and then we're gonna taste it for the flavor because we might wanna you know add us a little bit more chicken base, a little bit more seasoning, a little bit more something to this because all this right here is gonna be, be flavor honey for that dressing. Okay, listen, you want your broth to have flavor too, you don't want to just have no plain old broth, you know what I'm saying? That's why. I recommend that y'all save this broth and not use boxed chicken broth because to me personally, it ain't going to taste the same. You know what I'm saying? I think. I don't know. I ain't never did it before, but I'm just saying. I like my own broth because I know what I put in there. And everything. So... What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and add just a hint more of everything we don't put in here to that. We're gonna put some more of that uh, poultry. We're gonna put some more complete. We're gonna put some more poultry. We're gonna put. Uh oh. We're gonna put us a little. Uh, no. We're gonna put us a little of this uh, chicken seasoning in there. And what I love in chicken dressing, y'all, is a few flakes of cayenne pepper. I mean, I, yeah, cayenne, cayenne pepper or red pepper. Either one. I, the reason why I say that, y'all, is not going to make it spicy for the amount that I'm going to put it in now. Put it in now. What it's going to do is, it's going to give you that little kick in the back of your throat or whatever. And you're going to be like, dang, what that is they put in here. I know it's something, but I don't know what. So, put you a little bit of cayenne pepper in there just to give it a little zing. That's it. That's all you want, just a little zing. You don't want no more than a zing unless you like your stuff spicy. We don't like spicy stuff around here, y'all. So, we're not going to put that much in there. I just put just enough. You don't like spicy stuff. And you don't either with your little, you can't even eat cayenne, bread, uh, jalapeno peppers. I do eat jalapeno peppers. But, <clears throat> every time I use them, what you say? Babe, don't go digging in my, in my in all on camera now. <laughs> but 
That's in there. Oh, child. That is in there, sugar boo. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna have we're gonna sit this right here back to the side. Let it finish cooling. Okay, so now we about to get with this ham. You gonna need your large skillet over here on the side, y'all. Okay, you gonna need your a large pan, a large pan. I don't care if you gotta use a pot, whatever. Get you a large pan, and this is what you finna do. Okay, so what you would have been doing was slicing your ham. Listen, if y'all got a butcher in your area that will cut your meat up for you. Listen, y'all don't have to slice your own ham. I don't care if the ham did not come spiral. You do not have to slice your own ham, y'all. You can get your butcher to do it the same day that you buy it. Or sometimes they'll tell you, buy it, save your receipt, and bring it back and they'll cut it up for you. Okay, so what you're going to do is we're going to get us some of this ham and cut it off of here. Okay. Cut your ham. Cut your ham off here. Off the bone. As much as you can get it off. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just cutting around that bone. like so and then just pull the ham off just like that just like so y'all pull your ham off okay so listen doing your ham like this you're gonna have to cut that ham up anyway okay so what's the purpose Go ahead on and get it cut up because if you anything like me, I hate for anybody to come in my kitchen and fix them a plate and then they have my damn ham toe up, my turkey be all toe up and stuff. Oh, that burn me up, y'all. I hate that. So just go ahead on and do this right here and it saves you the headache and some steps. Okay? So, this is what we got going on. Like this right here. Go on and get you, see? Most of this right here, let me tell you something. Just because you might not get all, if you if you don't want the ugly pieces right, save them ugly pieces to go down and then use some peas or something in a soup or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Save them ugly pieces. You better not throw it away. But yeah, that's all we're doing just cutting around this bone and that bone go all the way back look all right try to get them off in nice pieces though don't don't just you know, just don't just do it over any old kind of way. Y'all know ham is already done. So ham really don't have to go through all that cooking that y'all be taking it through. Y'all just be doing ham so wrong. Whole ham. Okay. So let's see. I got the bulk of the, the nice pieces off. And the rest of this, y'all, okay, the rest of this, we're going to say this meat for peas and stuff. And I ain't got to go and buy my smoked meat because I get it. Well. Okay. All right. So that's, that's good right there. We're going to say this here and we're going to work with this in a minute. Let's get on over here to the stove. All 
All right. First thing first. You want to you want to do a little burn into your hand? Okay, I got you. You 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 want some good ham, but you don't want to be spending eight hours cooking it. Okay, I got you. I got you. All right, there you go. You in there? All right. So let's check these here. Y'all look at them in them peas. Hold on. Look at them peas over there. We're going to add us a little bit more broth up in them, though. And we're going to give them a little taste of the taste. To see where they at. So let's add just a, a little bit more liquid off up in there. Like that. Mm. We're gonna let that cook down just a little bit more. And these about done. Alright. So now on to the ham. Okay, so what you're gonna do is take your little oil and put it in your pan. Just a little razzle dazzle. That's all you're going to need. You ain't trying to fry the ham, nothing like that. Only thing you want to do is try to get, basically, in a minute, just really get it going. So, we're going to take this ham, and we're just going to lay up some pieces right down in this pan, just like that. Lay your thumb in there, just like this. Get that ham going like that. This is stove top ham, honey. And let me tell you something. I promise you. I promise you. When you try my ham this way, I promise you you ain't going to make it the regular way no more. I promise you you ain't going to put that ham back in that oven. Because it ain't going to make a difference. It is not. So one thing we're trying to really do is just get this going, get just get it going. You know what I'm saying? Get it started. Let's go ahead on and do it like that. Then let me show you, boo. Hold up. Hold up now. Then okay. What you're gonna do is hold on, sugar. Oh, oh, baby. Let me, let me, let, 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 let your, let your sugar boo teach you. Okay. Let your sugar boo teach you. Okay. So we're going to take a little cinnamon and go on top of that ham like that. Y'all like cinnamon on your ham? If you don't, it's okay. Don't put none. Take you just a little razzle dazzle of cloves. Put it on there. Take you some of your sugar. You use however much sugar you want to use. Put that sugar on there, baby. Okay, just like that, honey. You better not miss them step. You best not. Okay, get it, get it, get it, get it in there. Get it in there just like that. All right. So now you're gonna get you some more ham. Lay it on in there. Okay, just like that. Baby. When I tell you, honey. When I tell you that this ham here, mm -mm -mm. I'm talking about this ham right here. Yeah, this one. This this ham. Yeah, this one. This one. This ham, y'all. This ham. Here, yeah, baby. Ooh, shy. All right. Throw your little more cinnamon on there. 
Just like that. Don't put too much. You don't want your stuff to be tasting like cinnamon and, and all that stuff. If you like nutmeg, put your some on there. Okay, there you go. All right, now get you some more sugar. That's why I say you use as much as you want to use because this is a one pan thing. So you got to think it's going to be sweet. Okay? All right. And get that ham on in there like that. See, ain't nobody got time for all that extraness and stuff like that. Well, ham's no more, y'all. Okay? This how you do it. Right here. This is exactly how you do it. And get the same result. Y'all see this ham is already tender. Y'all see that? So why you be doing all that cooking to it like you really be in there doing something? I ain't doing nothing but wasting your dog on oven. That's all you're doing. Wasting that oven. Running your light bill up. Getting your kitchen hot and all that stuff like that. Cooking ham for all them hours. And stuff in the ham already done. Okay. Don't nobody want no dry ham. I know y'all done had some dry ham before. And listen and, and smell it. I wish y'all could just smell this. I wish y'all could just smell what's going on in this kitchen. All right. So so just one more time, y'all. One more time. One more time, Lord. One more time. Get that sugar on up. Just like that. Oh, one more time, love. One more time. Get that sugar on up. Brown sugar, light brown sugar. I'm using light brown. Okay. All right. So now, this is what you're going to do. Now you're going to take your pineapple juice. Uh-huh, then don't y'all do all this in the pan? And you be sitting up there just trying to base, trying to base, trying to base, trying to base. Don't you hate when you get you some ham and it's like they don't forgot all about some sugar or something on the ham, honey. Okay, get it in there. Get your pineapple to try. So now all this ham is coated in that pineapple juice instead of the pineapple juice just sitting in the bottom of the pan and you ain't got nothing but a little salty pineapple flavoring down up in there. You know what I'm saying? All right. Get it like that. So now, since we got the this can of pineapples right, we ain't going to let this juice here go to waste. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dump all that juice off the pineapples onto into the pan because guess what what y'all do with pineapples the pineapples is for what decoration okay so that's what we're going to use them for the cherry is what for decoration if you got cherries you can use them for that i'm going to show you how to get it together i'm going to show you so what we're going to do is y'all we're going to let this ham just simmer in this sugar this pineapple juice this cinnamon and these cloves. And if you wanted some cherry juice, pour you some cherry juice in there for that color, like I said. And you just gonna let this ham just simmerize down in this, this him, 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 this juice for a minute, right? But let's go and give it a taste and see what it's working with. See, we don't want no salty. We don't want no salty. See, in, in, in a minute, I'm gonna show you what this, what's gonna happen. In a minute. Just give me a minute. Okay. So we're just going to give this here a little taste and see what it's working with. Oh, baby. Baby. Oh, kill them, Tiana. Kill them, girl. They ain't even going to know what the hell. They ain't even going to know, honey. Because guess what? Now this salty ham that we did rinse off, y'all love sweet ham, baby. This ham gonna be so, honey, every piece of the ham gonna have some sweetness. You better know it. You best to know it. So let's put our lid on there 
and let it simmer rise. Like I said, you can use you a, a pot if you want to. I just happen to have me a pan that's big enough. And so, use what you got to, to, to do what you need to do, okay? Don't let nothing stop you from doing what you need to do. All right. So, now we got that, y'all. Okay. We moving. I got to get over here and get this little ham here. show y'all what to do with this ham. Y'all ain't know I was going to hit you like that, did you? Did you? Y'all ain't know I was going to hit y'all like that. No, I know y'all didn't know. I know y'all. I, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. You ain't know. You ain't know Tiana was going to do it to you like that. Not like that. You probably thought I was going to do you, but not like that. You didn't know I was going to do you like, like that. Honey, I came and brought it, didn't I? Mm-hmm, I ain't got to fight. What am, I, what am I coming to play with y'all for? And it's, uh, you welcome, Brenda. What's up, for mama? Hand for mama. What's up, boo? Welcome to the family. Y'all welcome her to the family, y'all. We happy to have you, sugar. Okay, listen. Don't be no stranger now. Don't let the day to be the last day, honey. Okay. Don't let did today be your last time over here. You're going to hate it. Okay, so anyway. All right, y'all. So, this is what you do with this meat right here. Okay. So, y'all need some seasoning and stuff for your, for your peas, for your greens, for your... Baby, this is what you do. Cut that meat up. Mm-hmm, guess what? Now you got a ham, and you got some seasoning for your greens and stuff. Your beans, your black-eyed peas. Uh, black-eyed peas, it's, it's, listen, don't y'all cook them for um, New Year's and, and stuff. Okay, then, y'all better say them ham bones and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Say that meat. Say say all the little stuff that's coming off of your little ham that you got left and throw it in the freezer, honey, or something like that. So you will have it when you need it, child. Okay, but cut that on up like that. Mm-hmm. Just like so. Don't do it no different than what I'm showing you. Okay. Honey, we're gonna get this little piece of ham, throw that on in now. Okay. Yes, boom. That's how you do this here. That's how you look it up. Ain't this a what this is? A ham hawk or something, y'all? I don't know. So we're gonna cut that right there. Just like so. Yeah, I think this ham hawk or something, y'all. This must be the hawk. Because that's something it is. Oh, hold up. Ugh. I know some of y'all probably ain't going to be able to do this right here. But if, if you don't mind having the whole piece and just just throw it in the pot. Okay, ain't nobody mad at you. Just throw that whole piece on in the pot then. Girl, yeah, you better. But I'm trying to find that, that something that's combined, joining this together right here. Ooh, y'all. Something joining this together. It's a joint. It's a. There you go. Oh. All right. So there you go. Look at this. Look at all that meat. Cut that on up. Look at all this fat and stuff on it. Fat is flavor, y'all. Try. Don't you know some of this could have went in them big them peas over there, honey? Don't you know? Okay, so now we got us two bones. And then we got us meat right here. Put that fat on up right there. Fat's flavor. Look at all this meat. This is a, a lot of meat that you can use for seasoning, y'all. Look at all this. 
Look at all that. And somebody probably won't even took the time. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bag and you're just gonna put it in your Ziploc bag and throw it in the freezer. So as you need some, it's already cut up, broke down. You just get what you want, what you need, and go on about your business. That is it, girl. Just what you need. Look at up. Got that bone. Got us another bone right there. And there you go. Just throw this all in the freezer, just like that. And you don't have to thaw it all out at one time to get what you need because it breaks off just fine. It do. All right. <sighs> okay, y'all. So now let's see. Let's go and check this um hang on over here. Y'all look at that. Look at that. Look at that ham, y'all. What you thought? What you thought it was gonna be? All right. So, in my opinion, Your ham only need to be cooked long enough for your, your sweetness to get through the meat. That's all. That is it, y'all. The ham is already done, sugar. So now... What we're going to do is take this ham lay it in your pan. Boom. Guess what? Now you ain't got to worry about nobody messing over your ham. Lay this ham in your pan. Just like so. You ain't trying to boil it to death, summarize it to death, none of that. We just wanted it to cook that sweetness through it. Okay. But your juice, honey, stop. You better not the potty's juice side, okay? Child, what I told y'all. As long as it tastes good in the end, who cares that you didn't cook or cook this ham all day? Who cares? Who cares? Anybody think they're going to try this ham like this? Let me know. Y'all think y'all going to try this ham like this? Is y'all going to try? Mm -hmm. I promise you, if you ain't the ham maker, 
Oh, you're going to be a hair maker after this. You gonna be a ham maker. And the best one. This gonna be some of the best ham that you probably don't make if you ain't really the one that know how to make ham. What? Trust me. Oh you gonna you gonna you gonna love this. See this is so easy for ones that don't know how to cook, y'all. The ones that want to try, they be trying, but it ain't Thanksgiving table worthy, okay? All right, so now we got our, 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 um, our little sauce over there, right? You see it? Now we got our sauce. But before we tend to the sauce, baby, we're going to tend to this ham. No, we ain't. Hold on. We're going to tend to the ham in a minute. Okay, so we're going to tend to this sauce real quick. So now you want to taste your sauce to make sure if it's sweet as you want it. Or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to add just a little razzle dazzle more of brown sugar. Now we finna work, work on this glaze, y'all. This is finna be the glaze. We're gonna add just a little bit more sugar. Yep, that's a little bit. And that's a little bit more right there. All right. Mix together like that. Use your pineapple juice, your brown sugar, your cinnamon, cloves. Add your cherry juice to this now. You got the flavor from the ham in here. What more can you ask for? Mm-hmm. Perfect. All right. So now, what we're going to do is, we're going to take us a little of this cornstarch. You're going to take you a few teaspoons, tablespoons, probably about two to three tablespoons. Oh, making a mess. Okay, we're going to start off with that. Then we're going to, matter of fact, I was going to put some of that in there, but I ain't got time. Mess them up more dishes. Take you some water and mix it with it and make you a slurry. That was about half a cup I had to that. Or maybe a cup. Yeah, about a cup. So now what it's going to do is it's going to make you a nice thin syrup. That's what you want. Stir it. Stir it as you add it. Going to make you a nice a nice thin soap. So as this heat up, you're going to know how thick it's going to be. And here go your glaze for your ham. Just like this. And now you got your glaze. Now, the little packet that come with it, if you want to try it out, add it to it if you want to. But you already got your glaze, but I'm going to taste it because I don't like throwing it away, y'all. So I'm going to taste it and see what it tastes like. Oh, 
Oh, hell to the now. Uh-uh. Yeah, come in. Uh-huh. Yes, what you need, Grandma? The trash. You probably ain't going to be able to get to it. You're going to have to hold on because I got all them clothes right there. So you don't have to wait because I got all them clothes right there. Okay, y'all. So this is the glaze right here. Okay. Y'all see that? The consistency of that? Oh, can you see it? Oh, my hand slipper. Hold up. Take your glaze, and now you're just going to pour it right on top of that ham, just like that. And now every piece of your ham going to have some glaze on it. And it's not going to be too sweet because I didn't make my mixture, my glaze real sweet. So it's not going to be too sweet. So now y'all want to decorate. Okay. I'm going to show you how to decorate. Make it look like. Dress it up and make a real form. Okay. Dress it up and make a real form. Whatever that means. And, 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 and decorate your decorate your ham. Go on decorate it. Now just go on and put your little pineapples. On there. Go on. on. Oh, you want your pineapple say our color? Child, you better uh, throw it in the oven for a minute then. That's all I can tell you. Okay, look at that. Look at that ham. Look at this ham, y'all. Now, you want cherries? You Oh, you want it to be pretty with cherries too, huh? So, now you just take your cherries and put it in between the little holes like that. And boom, there you go. There go your holiday ham. Okay. Take you some of this glum of pineapples. To dress it up and make it real for them. Okay. Like that. Just like that. Dress it up and make it real for them. Just like that. There go your ham. Somebody say ham. Somebody say ham. There you go. See, I done brought it to you. I'm going to turn these up. Make sure they ain't trying to overflow or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. Now look. Now look at here. Look at that ham. Look at that ham. Mm. Look at that ham. Take that ham. Take that ham. Babe, come here. Let me tell y'all something. One thing about my husband. His favorite is ham. And if this ham is oh he gonna tell you. Oh he gonna tell you. Oh yeah, he gonna tell y'all. You think he gonna care about hurting my feelings, huh? Well, first thing he's gonna say. Babe, that ain't it. Y'all, I love me a good tender ham. A good tender piece of ham. Hold up. Oh, no. Wait. 
Well, you go on text and let them know. Tell me what, 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 why are you over there talking about what it better be. Okay. Bread is on time, y'all. Y'all almost let me forget this guy. Oh. Dang on, y'all, y'all. Bread is perfect. 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 Perfecto. I know y'all thought that bread would burn. I know y'all did. I know y'all did. Leave your oven on. Oh my goodness, y'all. Uh. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. So now we gotta get to this dressing, y'all. Get that on in the oven. And then we can clean up the kitchen. Still hot, so you know it's gonna fall apart. But y'all look at it. All right, thank you, brown sugar, though. Hold on, go and tell them about it. Very good. That ham is tender. Nah, it ain't all that tender. Nah, ain't gonna feel sick and say tender. That's good enough to my cup. Y'all wonder why I'm here with the hoodie on because she got air conditioning on. Don't believe him about the damn tenderness. Is it sweet enough? It's yeah, not too know. sweet, right? Nah, it's sweet just on point where I needed to be at. Exactly. And you taste, you taste the pineapple juice. It don't taste no different from somebody cooking a ham in the oven, does it? What you cooking in? It don't matter. Just answer the question. Know. You thought I cooked it in the oven? Now you, now you got me curious and wondering what it cooked it in. Do, do you, did you think that there was, you thought I cooked it in the oven? If you was to come get you a plate, you'd have thought that was oven ham, won't you? Mm-hmm. Okay. You cook it in the thing? Nope, I cooked it on top of the stove. Hmm? Boil it on top of the stove? No, I ain't boil it. I just cooked it on. They know. I just need you to answer that question. Okay, y'all. Y'all, look at this cornbread. Ooh. Look at that bread. Look at that corn. Oh, 
Ham, baby. cream, potatoes. Pretty, ain't it? So pretty, but it's got to get messed up. This is how you going to do it. Break it down. I'm just I'm just cutting it too, so some of that steam can come on out. Just like that. Okay? So we're going to let that, we're going to let this steam up. Get all the steam out of it. Brace yourself. I don't know if y'all ever made dressing before. But the only thing I'm going to tell you is. I don't know nobody that know how to make dressing and don't use their hands. You got to use your hands. You must have. Use some cream of chicken to go in there. And I'm adding a can of cream of mushroom. Okay, you must make your dressing <laughs> with cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, cream of celery, cream or something, y'all. You need some cream or something. Okay. So now, what we're about to do is we're about to take these little chickens right here. Thank you, baby. Get all these little gizzards here. Okay. Go on. on. And cut it up just like as you would chitlins or something. Get them cut up, y'all. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I am. You want to know why? Because it makes it where they can't pick them out. So go and get it cut, broke down, and all that good stuff. Just like that. You ain't got to cut them too fine though. Just cut it down a little smaller. Then a whole gives it. You do not have to put this in your dressing, y'all. This is not how I always make my dressing. I just happen to have this in the freezer, and I'm adding it to my dressing. But you don't have to put this in your dressing, okay? Your dressing is going to be bomb to the dot com without this right here. Okay? All right, so now we got that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our chicken. And you want to get the chicken, and you want to. Babe, come get your ham. Hey, and you're going to take the meat off the bone. Just like so. As much of it as you want. I put skin in mine too, y'all. Y'all don't have to, but I do. I put skin in my dressing. You can save these bones right here, y'all. Put them in the pot. We'll use some celery, some bell pepper, some onion, some um, some seasonings and stuff like that. And make you some more homemade chicken broth from the bones. That's how you do it, y'all. 
Just like that. I tell y'all about saving bones and stuff all the time. It's going to help you out with making um broth and stuff like that. Because don't nobody want to be drinking no bland chicken broth if you have to go on your liquid diet or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Your doctor put you on a liquid diet or you need or you sick and you need you, you know what I'm saying, some broth or something like that. Chicken gizzards, they good. They good. You just have to boil them long enough until they get tender. That's why I put them in that oil. Uh, that little pressure cooker or whatever. But they good. But chicken gizzards, honey, most definitely is the bone. When you fry them, chai. Ooh, baby. You don't even know. So, yeah. That's all we're doing. Just picking the meat off the bones, y'all. And I let this boil so long to, well, uh, it's pretty much coming off easily. That's how you want to, that's how you want to cook it. If you if you have a bone or two in here, it's all right. Only thing that the little bones that be left in it do is get in the way of you eating. That's all. That is all. So, we're going to finish picking this chicken. And then we're going to get this dressing in the oven. And dressing, y'all, normally dressing take about a little. God dang. Let me check my peas. Oh yeah, these peas looking ready now. Oh baby, I checked them right on time. Right on time. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Your peas is only cooking long enough to get tender, y'all. Y'all know what black eyed peas and stuff supposed to taste like? Okay. Same thing with them peas. That's how long you're cooking them. Just long enough for them to get tender. Just like you cook any other bean. Any other bean, y'all. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is with my bones, y'all, is I'm going to take them. And if you're wondering what part of the meat I'm using, this is chicken legs and thighs. Chicken legs and thighs. Please don't throw no chicken breasts up in here, child. Please, y'all. Don't be trying to make no dang on dressing with no chicken breasts. Y'all. Come on now. Y'all got to skip out on the health, healthy stuff sometimes. Okay, especially when you're trying to cook this. for. I see if you're making it just for yourself. But you over here trying to do it for somebody else? Uh-uh, baby. Please don't put no chicken breasts in here. Okay. Because they sure won't talk about you. You're going to be wondering why you're dressing. Still going to be sitting there. On the table. And everybody had some on the plate, but you wonder why they ain't went back and getting no more. You wonder why it looking like your stuff going in the trash can. You, okay. It ain't going in the trash for none, y'all. I'm telling you. So if people do your food like that, it's something that you ain't did right. You ain't putting up seasoning or something. You know, normally they can go and add them a little more salt or something. But when you just... Honey, you just done messed it up, messed it up, honey. Okay. This is a dressing, not a stuffing. I know some people call it the same thing, but when you but when you really look at it, it's not the same thing though, y'all. Because stuffing to me is that box stuff. And normally I like to add a box of stuffing to mine too. You know, for that bread and stuff like that. But I think I forgot to get it. I hope I didn't. I got to look in the cabinet to see. 
but I like to add a box of stuff into it too. It just give it, it just give it more flavor. You know, the seasonings and stuff that be in that stuff and mix and stuff like that. Now that's the only way I really like stuffing, honey. Unless I must be really hungry and somebody be on made some stuffing. But honey, I ain't no stuffing kind of girl. I'm the, I'm the, um, the, 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 the dressing. Give me dressing, honey. Don't, don't be trying to listen. Listen, stuffing to me is like, honey, they just went and played. They just went and had them a field day, honey, with that stuff. Listen, uh-uh. I don't like stuffing like that. And I know it might could have been the person that made it and stuff like that and all that. But I'm not no stuffing type person. Mm-mm. Stuffing seem like it just be missing something. Stuffing be missing. Be missing some stuff, honey. Listen, don't 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 be playing. If you don't do it, you don't do it. You don't go all the way in. All the way. All the way live. All the way live. Okay. If you gonna do it, you gonna do it, and you gonna do it up, and you gonna do it, and you gonna try to put my name on it. Oh, I know you better do it up for real. You ain't finna put my name on something, and they gonna be like, "Ooh, child, honey." Sharita said that. Child, she learned how to make that make that dresser from this girl on YouTube named Tion. I can only be me. And child, I don't know what the hell that girl did or what she didn't do. But honey, she ain't got to worry about me going over there. Because she done did the fuck it up challenge on that dressing, honey. And I ain't trying. Okay, y'all better not do me like that. Y'all better not do me like that. All right. So now we got all that. And we got that established. All right. So now y'all, let's hold on. Let's, let's transfer real quick. was going to say these bones, but child, I got enough of them in the freezer, y'all, so I ain't even going to worry about it this time, but y'all know, honey, I really didn't want to throw them away, I really didn't, but it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay, all right, so now y'all see this here? Y'all see what I got? We got our chicken. We got our gizzards. We got everything right here together. Now, you will see the bell peppers. You see how the bell peppers don't cook down and the onions, you can't really see them no more? Only reason why you see the bell peppers is because of the colors. All right. Now, this is what I want you to do. Get your bread. Like that. Girl, no, I didn't, girl. <laughs> ah! Girl, I ain't forget it, child. I got it. Okay. So, now we finna get this here. All right, just like that. Okay, now we're going to get a box of this. I got the turkey one. Get you some stuffing. Take your stuffing. Y'all, can't nobody make no small pan of dressing, okay? Don't make no... I'm telling you, y'all, don't make no small pan. The seasonings and everything. Get them in now. Now what you're going to do is. You want to soak this a little bit. 
Get you a measuring cup or something if you want to. Let that bread start soaking up some of this broth. Just like that. Okay, we ain't going in with the seasonings right now because what we want to do is try to get all this mixed in together. I put the gloves on because I know it's hot so the gloves kind of like help protect my hand and you're going to mash and mix it's good to have you a big pan I mean a, good, a big bowl I wish I had a big bowl I could have did this in but it's good to have you a big bowl or something so you can get this mixed up good. I think I might have to just get me a big pot. Babe, you busy? I need you to come in here and rinse out me one of my big pots. Rinse out my big pot for me. I need it. You see how it's coming together? You see it? It's getting moist. You blending the chicken and everything going in. Is you in the game? If you ain't, I need you. Y'all see that? All right. Try not to over mix, but you do want to get it all incorporated. And mix together. Y'all see that? All right. Now what you want to do is. What you need to do? I need a big pot. Which one? Look, and one. Just look back there in that in that laundry room, up on that top, and give me one of them real big ones, and rinse it out for me. You want the real, real big? The real big one. Hold on, family. Rinse it out for me. You can wash the dishes if you want to. Then. Put it right there. 
right now. Okay, y'all. Transfer. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So now, we're gonna get right here. All right. So now what you're gonna need to do, Is get you a can of get you some um, cream of chicken. I recommend you to make sure you have on hand at least two cans. Two big cans. Two big ones. Not the not the little ones like this. But get you two big ones. That way you can at least have your enough, but make sure you have at least three to make sure for sure. Just depends on how much you're going to be making. Okay. Then... So now you're going to add your cream of mushroom, if you're going to use that. Just like that. Alright, so now, what you're going to do is, you're going to get all this mixed together. That's why I say you got to do this with your hands, y'all. You can't go thinking you're going to be over. Just use a spoon or something. Because you ain't going to get mixed in together like it need to be. And stuff. Honey, you got to put your arm and back and neck into a chai. Okay? So get that mixed up real good like that. You can most definitely put you some eggs in here. Like the boiled eggs. Put you some in there if you want to. That's just personal preference. I'm going to give this a little taste real quick. All right. So, what I need me is <clears throat> poultry seasoning. Now you're going to go, go on your own from here. Put you some poultry seasoning. Put you a little sage, but not too much because sage will take over. Put you a little sage. I need just a little bit more seasoning in mine, but guess what, y'all? 
I'm going with me some Tony's because Tony's going to give me that spice that I'm looking for. So, damn. So, we're going to put us just, I don't really need much salt. So, we're just going to put just a little bit of Tony's in there. Like that. And then, we're going to put just a little bit of that celery salt like that. Okay, so now y'all, get in here. <laughs> Bless me, Jesus. Thank y'all. Get in here with some of your broth to help loosen this up because now it's almost like a paste. I don't know if y'all can see. So, you don't want it too wet though, y'all. And that's by enough. Oh yeah, that's more than enough. All right there. Yeah. It's wet enough. And there we go. This is that dressing, y'all. The chicken dressing with the giblets. Or the uh, gizzards. Oh! So now the thing you gotta do is you can take this here and put it in your um freezer bag at this point or put it in your pan and wrap it up let it cool off put it in your freezer and freeze it and then that way when you get ready to take it out and cook it only thing you gotta do is let it thaw completely then put it in your oven and there go your dressing so now we're about to get this a little taste That dressing is hitting, but it needs some more poultry to me. It's hitting though, y'all. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so now. I'm gonna get me some. And it got that kick too, y'all. In my pan. And then the rest I'm going to get in a bag. You could put some eggs in it and stuff like that. But like I said, my dressing be good. I don't like the raw eggs. I don't be doing all that. I don't. It don't need all that. This good just like this. Just like this, y'all. Mm. Now here go your dressing. And if you want some color on it, just throw your little parsley crop. I mean, a little, uh, paprika across that thing like that. For decoration, y'all know, Miss Parsley, Miss Parsley. Go to every food family on you, y'all. Put you some Miss Parsley on top of that. And this is chicken dressing, y'all. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it in the oven. And you can put it in the wrapped up or not, but I'm not. I'm putting it in my 375 degree oven. I don't know for how long. I'm just putting it in there until it come together and it start browning and stuff like that. Y'all gonna see. So, that's how you do dressing. Maybe y'all gonna see, maybe not. I'm not sure. We're just gonna see. The rest of this, I'm gonna put it in the freezer just like that. All my stuff up out of there, honey. I had to put all my own work in there. Okay. All right. So now we got that. Now I got enough for two more pans of dressing. I sure need you, Miss Marshall. You gonna drop? <laughs> Look like y'all over here putting in work, honey. I know that's real. like that. Uh, and you're going to store it in your freezer. Uh, just like that. Then when you get ready to take it out, 
If you store it flat like this, it won't take a long time to thaw out. Just a little note. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave this out till it get all the way to room temperature. And that's that for this dressing. All right, y'all. We gotta get to the dishes now. Y'all enjoyed that today? That chicken broth, do the same thing. Put it in your Ziploc bag if you got some extra. Put it in there and save it too. Honey, if you ain't got to, don't throw nothing away. What's the saying? Waste not, won't not. If you don't waste, you ain't gonna want for nothing. Got this little bit of broth that you think about throwing away and stuff, or something like that. It might be just what you need to bring it back together. You never know. I ain't telling you that you is, so I don't think you is. But you could put it in the pan cover, in the oven covered up if you want to. The reason why I didn't put my dressing in the oven covered up was because it's it's gonna cook faster. Mm-hmm. And guess what? That's just what we're gonna make. I got to have gravy on my dressing. I don't care how good my dressing is, baby. I got to have me some gravy and some dang on um some um cranberry sauce on that child. So we're gonna make we're gonna make the grape. I just good girl, I gotta get some dishes out of the way. This right here for the ones that like to see the cleaning videos.
Y'all, let me get my keys. That's my peas.
y'all. See that chicken? Okay, we ain't gonna wash this out yet because we're gonna use some of that broth right there to make us some gravy. Hold on, y'all.
Just from cooking. Too much talking, G. Too much talking, nigga. Too much talking. Too much talking. You should you should never you should never came over here saying. Don't you start. Don't you start. I'm on camera. So now we're about to make the gravy. Check this. Ch hey, what you dancing for, honey? Ch y'all wait till y'all see this dressing. Hold on, sugar. Crust on it, but we're gonna stir this in.
This dressing is bomb. Bomb, bomb. <coughs> Bomb diggity 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 bomb. All right, let's go make a simple gravy. It's gonna be real simple. Cause I don't want to add extra onions and all that stuff like that tomorrow because I don't want that onion flavor. Okay, now this is gravy. So what I'm about to do is, do a plank, oh, hold on y'all. y'all so now what we're about to do is we're just gonna take us yeah, yeah. depends on how dark you want your gravy we gotta cook this flour so we're gonna take us oh, some shit. oil and put it in the pan yeah, we, bro, I can't get a good rap to save my life Oh, man. Let me see that. I got you. Oh, 
got to depend on this nigga in the corner. I'm right here when you come past him. Come dunk again on me. All that talking. Come dunk again. Oh, what you don't have to do. You ain't doing shit no more. You can put you some onions in here at this point. Whatever. But I don't want the onions, y'all. I just want the gravy. That's it. And you can, if you got your giblets and stuff like that, like from the turkey, you know, like the neck from the turkey and all that. So you can boil that turkey, that turkey neck up and you can add that to your gravy. And then, you know, like if you want to, the liver and the gills that come in there, boil that with the neck. Then when it gets tender enough, you're going to take it and you're going to add it to your gravy. And that's how you get giblet gravy. Color. 
Make sure you keep a stir on this because the flour settles, y'all. So make sure. how you get brown gravy. It's going to keep turning colors. You're going to see it. This is like dealing with hot oil, y'all. See how it's changing colors? Now it's on its way to peanut butter. And as you continue to cook and stir this, it's going to get darker and darker. So you got to think, you're just cooking that flour. This is what they mean when they say cook your flour. Y'all see it change your colors? This is how you do a roux, y'all. Mine's a little bit, just a little bit oily, but it's okay. See, it's changing for you guys. Get it to the darkness that you want. Now this color right here, it's pretty much okay for a um like a turkey grape. This color here. But I'm gonna go a little bit darker since I'm adding, I'm gonna add a lot of liquid to it. I'm gonna go a little bit more darker. Y'all see how it's changing? got to make sure you keep your eye down low enough so you do not burn it. Do not miss a spot in your pan. The stir. Get you a whisk or something if you need to. You don't need no kitchen bouquet. You're wasting money. That's just a short, quick way. Being the gravy still over there tasting like flour. Y'all see that? Now look how dark it's getting. The longer you cook it, the darker it gets. Turn it down just a little bit. And this is how you do for your gumbo. So y'all done got a little, a little something, something. You know, just in case y'all gonna be making gumbos and stuff like that. This is how you do. 
Just like that. Y'all, look at that. Look at that room. Pretty. Nice and pretty room. Yeah, it's getting thicker. As that as it as it cooked, see that oil is cooking down in it, it's getting thicker. See, now it's going to chocolate. I just added a little bit too much oil to mine, but it's okay. It's still going to do what it's supposed to do. And if, you, if you're not okay with it, just add you some more flour to it. That's all you got to do. to be because I don't want it too light and then when I add my water to it make it lighten up even more so I want it a look I want it kind of dark so that when I add my when I dilute this with my water yeah let me add just a, a tad bit more y'all Leave that unattended. Okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna transfer. too much um oil in it that's the you know what i'm saying so and i just had a little bit just 
just a little bit too much. Okay. So at this point, y'all, I do like to add just a little bit of seasoning to this, this right here. So I'm gonna add just a little pinch of salt. I'm gonna add just a little bit of pepper. Don't get your bottle, don't break money. Don't get your bottle. And then we're gonna add our uh, our broth. And then we're gonna go from there. Y'all see that? You see how it's getting thick? So you don't have to do it like you do when you're doing that gumbo stuff. See, when you're doing that gumbo stuff, they make it so thick, right? Because look at all that chicken and stuff going in there. They make it so thick, right? Because that's a big old stew pot. You know what I'm saying? That's a big old pot of stew. So we're going to add some more liquid to this. I want a nice thin down gravy. Now you see why I went so dark? It's lightening up just a little bit. And that's going that's right there to me. It's the perfect color. So now we're going to let this come up to a, a bowl. And that right there going to let me know how thick it is when it come up to a bowl. But y'all, this is how you make that gravy. Y'all see that? A nice gravy. So now I got enough gravy for today and I got enough gravy to freeze when I make my turkey it's pretty color smooth as silk yep that's what you want a smooth gravy. now you can go and taste it from here after adding that broth that we use for the chicken to see if they have enough seasoning and stuff. Maybe you want to ask whatever. But this is a nice gravy, y'all. You don't want your gravy too thick and you do not want it too thin because you got to remember as gravy, as gravy cook, it this thickens and as it cool down, it thickens. So you don't want no gravy that's going to be too, too thick. You know what I'm saying? Make it loose enough. It's going to be okay. As long as you can make traces on your spoon like that, it's thick enough. Now let's go and season it a little bit more. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take me... I'm going to take me a little of this chicken... Put it in there. I'm going to take, um, I'm going to put me some more poultry seasoning in mine. You season yours with whatever you want to season it with. Let me throw a little bit of this, uh, Miss Parsley down in there. Just a little hint of celery salt. Not too, don't go too crazy, y'all. And um, let's oh, see. Hot. Hot. Oh yeah, we gotta put up some. We're gonna put the onion powder in there. You know what's that? Take that 
and we're gonna put a little hand of garlic and uh, just a little bit. Now we're gonna get this here. Mixed up. Let's see what I got. Look at that gravy. Ooh, baby, yes, perfect. That is perfect gravy, y'all. Look at that. You see how you can make traces? See that? That's thick enough. Mmm. Just um, a little hint more of salt, and that's it. Let me throw a little pep in there, too. There go that gravy, y'all. That's the gravy, though. In the. In the. In the. In the. In the. In the. Go. A go tea. Go tea. Go tea. Go tea. Go tea. Go. Go. A go. A go. A go tea. A go tea. You did it. You did it. You showed them, girl. You showed them. You. Are you are you show oh girl just look look how rich this this gravy here is homemade y'all homemade only thing they get it where you want it at is your seasonings you gotta season it up real good I'm gonna tell you that now you got to season up that gravy good oh baby so we're gonna let this all come together, mix together real good, just simmerize right here on this stove, right there on low. Cause this is ready. Only thing I want is for all my flavors to come together in this food family reunion pot of gravy. Okay. Shy, honey. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Got, got, you see the chicken pieces floating all through there. You see some bell peppers in there. You see that parsley up in there. Oh, if you want to add your onions up in there. You know, while we was while it was cooking and stuff, while you was cooking your flour, mm, 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 mm. gots to be. Look at that. Got to be more careful. That's gonna be perfect, light and right, just for that gravy. I mean, just for that dressing. You don't want no thick old gravy on no dressing. Look at that celery. You don't want no thick old gravy on no dressing like you trying to eat some doggone smothered chicken or something. Mm mm. You want you a nice, loose, light, because you don't want your gravy to take over the dressing. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the gravy take over. You just let that be a good food combination, honey. When that food fair union of dressing and cranberry sauce and gravy be done came together, baby. Honey. Yes. When you buy it in a jar, do it be, do it, listen. When you buy your gravy in the jar, don't it be loose? That's how you want it. Just like that. Ooh, baby. I can't wait. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. 
You better T. Drop the mic on them. You better T. <laughs> you better T. Look at that. Hey, Miss Sharon. Girl, over that dressing. Okay. When you lay it over that dressing. But girl, let me tell let me tell y'all what I'm gonna do, honey. When I get ready to do them turkey wings, baby. I'm going to take that gravy child. First of all, I'm going to cook them turkey wings. Ooh, child, baby, bark them, baby, bake them, baby. In that oven, okay? I'm going to bake them. They're going to be seasoned so good, y'all. When I tell you, when them turkey wings get to the point, where well, they almost done, but they ain't done yet. And then you're going to take this homemade gravy that I done made and just pour it all over them turkey wings. Okay, are you following me? Pour that gravy all over them turkey wings, baby. And you cover it back up, chai. And put it back in that oven, chai. Okay. And then now you just going to lay all that gravy in the... Ooh, child, girl. I'm trying to tell you something for your health, okay? I'm trying to tell you something. Listen. Y'all going y'all gonna to thank me later. I'm letting you know now. You're going to thank me later. What's going on with these eyelashes? Y'all going to thank me later. Y'all, listen. When I tell y'all that's going to be some good eating. Let me put my lid on here. Okay. Y'all gonna be like, Miss Pearly. Look at these eyelashes. Lord, have mercy, Jesus Christ, honey. They, honey, look. They bot look as tired as me. You hear me? Okay. Honey, I done laid on them, slept on them, rolled on them, washed them, washed around them, and all kind of stuff like that, honey. And these eyelashes is about through as me. You hear me? Oh, I forgot we got to make that tater salad, too. Yeah, we're going to make tater salad, too, but I'm going to do a small thing, a tater salad. But not today. I'm talking about that's another thing that I got to make. So the next thing on the, on the menu is going to be my cheesecake, my potato salad, my turkey wings, sweet potato pie, and um, oh, green beans for my husband. Thank you, Sharon. Girl, mine's supposed to be simple too. And then I got to make my macaroni and cheese. And then I got to make my um sweet my candy yams. So that's going to be on the next go round. <laughs> Where she at? She at home. So yeah, that's going to be on the next go round right there. So yeah, y'all. Check this dressing. Again, see now what we're doing is so let me tell y'all something. Oh, y'all don't want to be in the kitchen doing all that cooking for Thanksgiving, right? Because y'all know y'all ain't gonna have no whole crowd over. But what I'm what I'm gonna show y'all how to do is y'all gonna make some homemade macaroni and cheese, but it's gonna be my kind of way. Okay, I'm just that's all I'm gonna tell you. So. Just go on, on. Um, let me see. Uh, just, just go on and get yourself to ready. Okay. Ship you leftovers, honey. Let me tell you something. Leftovers going in the freezer. Okay. This is Thanksgiving, y'all. This is the this is Thanksgiving.
giving y'all. What y'all thought I was doing? Try. What y'all thought this was? Y'all thought I was just over here just cooking. I know y'all did because I cook like this all the time. I can't blame y'all for thinking like that. But uh, yeah, girl, I'm over here getting Thanksgiving together. Y'all got y'all got collard greens and all that stuff the last time, right? All that is in the freezer. They ate only one day. And I took it. I made sure they ain't eating no more than one day. And I took it and I put it in the freezer. So we got collard greens. And we got uh, whatever else I had made that time. Honey, okay. You cook turkey chicken. That's what you cook today, Latika. And then, so now we got these uh, peas. We got this this dressing, this ham, and this gravy. Okay. They gonna eat on this for about a day. And then, after that, I'm taking all this, throwing it in the freezer. Because, honey, they better be ready for this on, on Thursday. Okay, on Thanksgiving Day. Honey. They best be. <laughs> what, what, what you thought this was? Honey, ain't nobody got no money to be over here be buying all these extra groceries and stuff. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I was just, I was just smart this time. And I just went on ahead and get, y'all know I was on, on live about 13 hours last year trying to cook everything up under the sun. Not this time. Mm-mm. 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 But I thank y'all. I thank y'all for wanting to see these recipes. I thank y'all for enjoying me today. We ain't done because I'm waiting on this dressing to get out of this oven. But yeah, I didn't even want to cook my dressing until I made my turkey wings. But I had to do that ham today, right? I was like, dang that child. Okay. So Thanksgiving, baby. It's going to look like it was catered. Because everything going to get rolled on. I even sweet potato pie that I'm talking about, y'all. Those sweet potato pies can be, um... Them, them, them sweet potato pies can be frozen. You can go ahead on and make your mixture up and stuff like that and throw it in the freezer. That way you ain't got to do nothing but fill your pie. You feel me? Y'all got to be smart. Shit, and, who, and, and then you got to be in there and doing all that cooking by yourself too. And then on top of that, y'all know that groceries and stuff like that be hot for Thanksgiving. I told y'all, didn't I tell y'all why they got everything on the shelf? Go ahead on and get it. Didn't I tell y'all that? Only thing that you probably don't want to make up is your, you know, your cake and your, um, you know, little stuff like that that you know you can't freeze. But everything else, honey, y'all better get with it. Y'all better go and get started if you got it. Ain't no wrong with it, honey. If you got them greens already, y'all better go and get to cooking them greens. That that That's eliminating some eyes on the stove and some heat in the house, okay? Y'all better go and get with it now. Tomorrow... Tomorrow, child, okay, it's close enough. Honey, y'all better go on. Okay. Yams and all. When y'all, when y'all, when y'all be, y'all be going to the store and y'all be buying yams and y'all be buying all that stuff frozen. Why you won't cook it and freeze it? Y'all better come on. Come on now, get with the program. Look, we've been cooking too long to not get smart, okay? You got to get smart about that thing sometime or another. You know what I'm saying? And I was going to make these pre-recorded videos for y'all and stuff. But honey, your sugar boo just ain't got the energy nor the time nor the days. Because these days is rolling in and rolling out, honey. And I, and I can't keep up with them. So I had I had to come do what I had to do, honey. I couldn't, I couldn't listen. It wasn't listen. Y'all wasn't going to get them. If you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you can't come back and watch this video and, and skim through, I don't know what to tell you, honey. Because cooking and making the videos and all that stuff is not easy, y'all. It's different when you on the other side. And the only thing you got to do is cook and prep. Y'all got to think I got to cook, prep, clean, wash, and all that. And make videos, record, edit, upload, and all that stuff in a timely manner for y'all. And that was not finna happen. I already knew. So I just had You know what? Come on. Come on, family. Come on, family. We got to come on, family. Y'all want it? I'm giving it to you. It just might not be how you want it. But you're getting it, though, right? All right, that's all that matter. Cause, so, cause guess what? Guess what, y'all? When Thanksgiving come, oh baby, I'm gonna be sitting down comfortable just like y'all.
Honey, we might be over here doing us a whole lot. Honey, eating and having us a good time. You just never know, okay? I ain't gonna be in this kitchen burning up and y'all looking at me. Tiana, that's enough. That's enough, Tiana. You ain't gotta make nothing else. Tiana, okay? Y'all ain't gonna have to tell me that this year. Okay? But let's go and check this dressing room. Green beans! Nigga, first time. Shoot, I got other things to do. I gotta wash clothes and, and clean the house and 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 and, and 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 everything else. And I know y'all do too. Okay, so basically now, like I was saying, only thing you doing with the dressing is you kind of like you're not drying it literally, not literally, but you drying up the dressing a little bit. That's why you take it and put it in the oven. And bake it. That's why you bake it in the oven, y'all. Oh, yes. Perfect. My dressing done. Done, y'all. You could tell when it's ready. Because it looked just like a dressing. It don't look like it did when I took it out. Y'all see the difference? It don't look like it did when I took it out that, that, uh, out that pot when it was... Quote unquote raw. Now, if you want to, you can take it, put it back in the oven. And get your crust back on the top if that's what you want to do. But honestly and truly, I don't care for all, you know what I'm saying? It, for, it don't matter if it have crust on top to me. Because I done cooked this thing two times and it done got a crust already twice. So I don't want to put it in there again to get some more crust on there. Uh-uh. I don't need no more crust. I got enough crust mixed in. You feel me? I want some nice, moist dressing, okay? I don't know about y'all, but I love me a good, moist dressing. I ain't talking about mushy, and I ain't talking about wet, and I ain't talking about soggy. I'm talking about just like this, moist. Oh, girl. Girl. If y'all can taste that. Only if y'all can taste that. Grandma. Come on. Let me, I'm finna bring you some of this dressing, girl. Y'all, this dressing so god dang gone. Hold on, sugar. Um, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I do. Okay. Big B. That's how my horn is. I ain't got no little horn. I say, Big B. You better, girl. Shit. You better make sure you hear him, honey. I'm going to make sure you hear me. Hold up. Let me go and fix y'all the plate. So grandma can taste this him. Oh. Child. You girl done did it, child. I'm going to listen. I'm so excited for y'all to come back and tell me what y'all think. I am so excited, honey. I'm going to bring you a plate, child. And I'm finna, I'm, we finna go in there with Grandma, honey. And we finna go. Listen, we only going to fix one plate today. We'll fix two. I'll fix mine. But, yeah. We finna go in here and sit down with Grandma, y'all. And we finna... Ooh, I'm finna let Grandma... Yeah, no let y'all know what it's hitting. <laughs> I'm finna let y'all know what it's hitting for. Okay. Y'all finna find out. So it is. 
opening this cranberry sauce, honey. Now, ain't nobody got time for no homemade cranberry sauce. Now, I ain't said I was Miss Betty Crocker or Miss Um or Miss Paula Dean or Rachel Ray, okay? I ain't said that I was um Emma Lagasse, did I? I didn't say that I was um Soul Food Tea, did I? Okay, I ain't said that, did I? I ain't tell y'all. Okay. All right now. So y'all want some homemade cranberry sauce, honey? You better you, you better Google YouTube. You better, honey. You better Siri um some cr homemade cranberry sauce, honey. Okay. All right, so we're going to get this here. That's why I put it in that refrigerator because I like mine. Cold, baby. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> hey, Miss Fifi. How you doing, boo? Hey, Shanita. Anybody, hey, Miss Barbara. Anybody came in here that I, not, that I did not speak to? Y'all, please let me know so that I can go ahead on. Um, and speak to y'all. Y'all know I don't like to. Hey, Lean Bull. Y'all know I don't like to. Look. Come on now. Y'all don't listen. Y'all know. I don't like to leave nobody unnoticed and stuff. So come on now. So I can go and speak to my little sugar booze. I'm cutting my dressing up in slices, y'all. One thing I hate. I'm picky with food. Let me just go and say that. Can I please just say that? Because y'all going to like, damn, Tiana, you hate everything. Okay, let me just go and say. What's up, Monica and uh, uh, Diddy and Sharon? Exactly, Miss Fifi. You better know it. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I forgot what I was. Oh, yeah. I was telling y'all about this cranberry sauce. I'm picking with food for one. I am. Because I cook. And I like my stuff to look presentable. I don't want to. I don't want nobody to give me nothing that look no any old kind of way. So I wouldn't get nobody nothing that look old, any old kind of way. I thank God that I got that in me, even though I cook. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to fix nobody's plate where it just look like it's just. I want everything, and it just look and it look just like that. You know what I'm saying? Put me everything on. Mm -mm. I don't make people fool look like that. It got to look good to them. You know what I'm saying? Because you got cranberry sauce in the can. Exactly. I like that one too. And I, I like the one without the berries. I made some um, Ramsey. You ready? I made homemade ham. Listen, you got to go back and watch the, look at this whole video, okay? From, from the start to the finish. I done cooked you a homemade ham, baby. That you ain't got the slave over the oven uh, for. And I was for. And, it, and if you wasn't the best at making ham, I just showed you the easiest, delicious way you can make some ham. Okay? Alright, then I showed you how to make some homemade chicken dressing, girl. Okay? And then you got the homemade gravy to go with it child and then not only that honey sugar boo boo i don't showed you how to make you some peas to go with it girl and you might don't have no smoked meat baby but you might got a pack of bacon or a little few few pieces of ham but honey i done got y'all all the way together today you hear me now you better not forget about that collard green video that i don't i don't i don't i don't put up for y'all and stuff like i just don't put it up for my hair just for it to sit there to look good and stuff Okay, don't do me now. And I done made y'all some crackling cornbread, child. Girl, yes, go back. And I done made y'all crackling cornbread. Y'all got that recipe up there. And y'all got some ground beef baked beans, honey. Okay, the, the baked beans that's full of meat, honey. Okay, you got you some of them. And I done made you some, uh, some um, barbecue pork steaks in the oven, child. Okay. That Boston butt that you probably got in that deep freezer. Who got that okay. Same thing. That's what the pork steaks come off of. I, uh, don't put that together for you. Y'all better go check these recipes out. Don't do me now. Don't make me feel like y'all got me over here making recipes just just because I look good and stuff. Just to see if I'm going to eat it or something. 
Oh yeah, baby, you best you best know I cook that I'm gonna eat it. Okay, you best know that. All right. Okay, gravy off. This how I like my cranberry cut up. Cut me up some slices. Don't give me no. You know how you go to some people's house, all this junk look like it just look like a bunch of a bunch of slop, like they don't took a fork and just went all through it. Oh no, you best not. Give me some slices. I'm just picky like that. All right. Come on, grandma, get up. Check the sugar. All the way. Grandma still laid over there in the bed, honey, like she waiting on me to come throw it in the mouth for or something. All right. So, we're going to get these peas here with that bacon all through it. Okay. Get you some of that. Okay. Get you some of this here, here, here dressing here. Okay. Okay, then, hold on, because you know I got to tease you right. So hold up, wait a minute. This ham. Child, you want here to see how this ham was cooked and what I did to it, baby. You missing out. Guess what? My ham is already cut for the table. You ain't got to worry about nobody coming and mess up your ham. I'm just letting you know that part right there. Now, the rest, you got to go see for yourself. Look at this. Look at that ham. Them peas. That dressing. Hold up. What you thought this was? You thought I was done? Oh, Lord Jesus, y'all. Sorry. Grandma. You ain't tell me. You, you, you ain't tell me. Nothing.
Y'all see that gravy? Now you see how that gravy just lightly coat that dressing like so. Y'all see that? That's how you want that gravy, y'all. Okay. Grandma, you want a piece of uh, cranberry sauce? What? You want cranberry? Oh, okay. My bad. So she don't eat cranberry sauce, but it's all right, though, because that mean mofa, me, 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 me. Let me know when you're ready. Mofa. So, come on, y'all. This the plate for him. I'm going to fix my husband's plate. You want your food now? No. This y'all plate to go. Hold on, that's gonna that's gonna go on my plate. Okay, and then this is my plate, y'all. <laughs> yes, baby. Uh huh. That's how you do that. Do right. Do right. Do right. Do right. Do right. 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 There. Okay. All right. Now, hold up.
Okay, I got more Prala already. Hold on, y'all. We're gonna go in here with grandma. Oh, you can. You can freeze it like that. People, people got their own reasons for not freezing in aluminum and stuff like that. But I have. I don't froze in, in aluminum plenty of times. So it's just up to you. Your person, your personal preference. You can you can freeze it in um the Ziploc bags like I told you that way you have more room it can lay flatter and stuff like that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna freeze mine in Ziploc bags. Grandma is over here hollering, y'all. Hold on. God damn. Hold up, y'all. Come on, we're gonna go in here with Grandma real quick. You gotta give him that taste of that taste. Sorry, y'all. I ain't trying to make y'all dizzy. I apologize. Close your eyes. <sighs> okay, Grandma. Tell everybody to say hey. You say hey. Y'all, thank y'all for helping hey. me get to them 100 doorbell rings. And we all almost said 200. And I thank y'all for helping me get there. Y'all, Grandma. Mm. Go on, tell them about it, Grandma. Go on, tell them, Grandma. Go, go. Tell them about what? Go on, tell them about the food, Grandma. This is delicious. The ham. The ham of melts in your mouth. So, do you... And Grandma ain't got no teeth, and my husband gonna tell y'all it was tough. Is it tough, Grandma? Mm-mm. Okay. All right. Grandma, mm. if I told you... That I didn't cook that ham in the oven. Would you believe me? Yeah. Because you done told me two or three times you wasn't going to cook it in the You were going to cook it the new way. No, but Grandma, I'm, yeah. no, I'm saying by the way it tastes. Oh. If you came to my house and I told you I cooked the ham, you do that taste like it wasn't cooked in the oven? Mm-hmm. It do? What it tastes like? See, so mate. The rest of the food you cook. I don't think you. I don't think you get what I'm saying. Um. Could you tell that I didn't cook it in the oven? Could you tell I cooked it on top of the stove? Uh. -uh. That's what I'm talking about. Uh. -uh. Yeah. It tastes just like a ham that done been cooking all. How long you used to cook ham in the oven? Uh -uh. For for a long time, man. Uh -huh. All them hours. That's right. And y'all see how long I cooked that ham? About a good 15 minutes. A good 15 minutes, if that. On it's top of that stove. Cook. Tell them about that dressing, Grandma. Go on. You know, girl, they won't, they won't know about it. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this food everybody receiving. I ask that there be minimal blessings stored upon us. And God, I ask that there's anyone in need of a meal, I ask that you just make a way for them and bless mm -hmm. them with one. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That good. Everything is delicious. What about that 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 gravy on top, Grandma? You know that's that homemade gravy I made. Now. Uh huh. Mm. It, 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 honey, it good too. Mm. She's in there talking, but she's cooking too. Look at that. Mm hmm. Get you some cranberry sauce. All right, Dad, I'll be there. Mm. Honey, 
you you'll be you want you get a little deal, you be want it all. All right, y'all. So we finna get ready. In, come on, we finna get ready in this video. I thank y'all for being here and watching this video with us. Oh, him. Peace, love, and many many blessings to each oh, and every one of you guys. Oh, and until next oh, time, I love y'all. Y'all enjoy. The yeah, recipe. And don't forget too. to no, like this video. Don't forget to share with this video with up. anybody and everybody that you think Barney, that may want you to know how to cook everything that I cooked, y'all. Okay. I love y'all. And I hope y'all enjoy. Y'all, please don't forget to let me know what y'all think about this food. Okay. Y'all, y'all must let me know. Okay. Got your stomach growling, girl. Huh? All right, love y'all. Mm -hmm. Peace. Mm.